Welcome, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yeah. As Cheers. promised, as promised, I am going to be getting a little saucy as we celebrate the 500 subscriber mark. Obviously, now we're at 548, but who's counting? Um, and that is because of all of you sharing, talking about how incredible the American Idiot Show is. Let's be honest. It's, it, it's A1 YouTube television. Groundbreaking. Groundbreak absolutely groundbreaking. Two two Yanks talking football with whoever across the pond will entertain us. And one of those guys who you can directly blame. And I'll and I'm never gonna get off of this. I'm never gonna get off of this. You can directly blame for TJ Warren TV is this guy right here. Right here. Okay. So I'm gonna tell a quick story before I before I go. Okay. And stop if you heard me before, but you know, the infamous, the infamous Instagram chat, right? I got invited to the infamous Instagram chat after polluting Lee and Jez's streams for probably about the chats for probably about like six months or something like that. And Jez invited me and one faithful, I think it was like some Thursday previewing, previewing an Arsenal game. He asked, you know, he, Jez is a nice guy. He asked if anybody wants to come on. I say, Jez, I've only ever done like YouTube karaoke. Like I've never actually talked sports or talked Arsenal, but I, I'll come on. And I came on and I was scared to death. I've never, I've like thought I was going to go back and watch it. But every time I'm like, nah, nah, I don't want to do that. But, yeah. but yeah, no, that was the first time. And Jez pushed me, kept pushing me for the next two, three weeks, start my own channel. I finally started it back in, what was it? March. And, and here we are. So, and obviously Dal has been here with me the entire way. Same with Connor. So I just want to say, Thank you to those these three individuals right off the bat. We're going to be thanking everybody, but those three individuals right off the bat just because they continue to push, they continue to be positive, they continue to, you know, when I don't feel like doing it, Dal is immediately there being like, "No, we got to do it." Or or whenever I'm whenever I'm not there, Connor Connor's like, "No, we got to do it. No, we got to do it, man." And these guys are always there for me. So, I want to thank you, Dal. I want to thank I want to thank Jez, and obviously I'm going to get into the legends in the chat. Big up every all the fourteen inside. Obviously, I'm gonna say smash that like because it is. It's almost a part. It's almost like a knee jerk reaction now. It's involuntary. <laughs> but uh, I just want to welcome Jess to the show, Dal to the show. Um, Jess, how you doing, man? You good? Oh uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, um, very well, very well. Bored with the international football. Can't wait for it's over. Um, we actually can get back and do some proper streaming. Um, and uh, mate, um, look, I, I just want to say. It's nothing to do with me. I, I just gave you encouragement. You've built your own channel. You've done an awesome job. Um, you know, to get nearly 600 subs in this short period of time is an amazing thing. It shows people like your content and what you're doing. So, uh, yeah, I may have said, go for it, go for it, go for it. And the reason I did, when you came on the channel, Lee, I think it was Lee and Kenny, I think it was. We were doing a match preview back in the day, and you were, you were also on camera. You know, um, I didn't detect you were nervous at all. I mean, you, you flowed, you interacted, your comments were brilliant. That's when I said to you, "Do you do your channel, man? Just go and do it." And other people um, have come on shows, and I said, "Go and do your own channel. Go for it." You know, because it, yeah, I, I get it. Look, I tell you, when I when two years, Lee kept saying to me, "No, maybe not, maybe a year." Jez, do your own show. Do your own show. Do your own show. And I was like, "Nah, nah, nah, I don't want to. I'm not interested." You know. And eventually, I sat here one night and I thought, you know, I'm just going to do it. And you know the story. I'm not going to repeat it. It's boring. Yes. But um, you've built your own stream guys have built it it's not me i didn't help you all i did was come on here and talk bollocks so at the end of the day um all kudos to you guys and uh let's hope it all continues and gets bigger and bigger and bigger yeah big up to you respect uh -huh. respectfully judge that's bullshit because on on every 
on, uh, re, re, on 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 and and I mean this respectfully is that you know you got you, you Jez and Kenny are on every Monday and if I have a show or if I have a stream you that I'm on with Lee or I'm on with you and Kenny you automatically plug that without question without me without me asking so again thank you for doing that and thank you for the encouragement and again I want to go over to my buddy Dal here. What's up, man? Dal, Dal, when I was drunk in Nashville in, in March <laughs> and I and I and I messaged you about this show right. about doing the American Idiot show. What was your first thought? What was your first thought? My first thought was, oh man, it's going back a while now. Um my first thought was this guy's crazy. <laughs> I was like, no, no, I get too crazy. Like this guy thinks that I know something, right? So I was like I was, it was kind of cool with it. You know, I've only, I've been on a few Lee, Lee fan cams, been on some uh, members only streams with Lee, with Jez, Kenny Ken, Chig, um, DJ Crane. Um, i trying to think of some other people in there. I'm sorry if I forgot some names, but um, so I was kind of not really like wanting to put myself out there. Right. But then I realized that, Hey, I have, you know, a real love for this club. I have a love for the community. And if, Someone like TJ cares what I have to say or bring to the table as a co-host, especially um, just someone, you know, kind of help out Then I thought that, Hey, you know, this wouldn't be such a bad idea. Uh, but, you know, again, I'm not doing it for any real popularity reasons, any sort of monetary reasons. Um, I'm just doing it because I absolutely love the community. And I feel like, you know, I've made good friends with like Jez, Jamino, Carl Rossi. I feel like if I step foot in Ireland, I'll be welcomed with open arms. I feel like they, throw you a parade. they would throw you a parade. <laughs> I, well, yeah, that's that's so like amazing to know, right? And to feel that love. So, you know, I feel like if I stepped foot in North London, I'd have some arms around me. If I stepped foot in Brighton, Jess would be there opening the door with a beer, vino in hand. And to me, it's all about relationships and meeting people with the same kind of likeness or love that we have for Arsenal, but that we're all kind of connected in more of a, a human being, like spiritual way, of, of course, as well. Um, it goes a little bit more deeper than football for me with a lot of these people in here I see in the chat. But um, TJ, I'm glad you like opened the door and I was able to step in. So thank you very much. It's been, it's been fun. And a lot of it, the overall thing is that it's just fun. It's just something yeah. we do for fun. So that's the number one thing, right? And number one, Arsenal, number two, fun, however you want to rate those. But for for us, I think I speak for a lot of us that, that participate. It's just fun. Yeah, I no, I agree. Add, sorry, can I just have it uh, in there? <clears throat> the fun factor is this um it's not just youtube we also have an amazing community amongst us all on youtube but we also have an amazing community on instagram in our group chats and it's nice that people can have a debate and have a laugh and get to know people and I've, I've said to any any uh, of you guys that from the uh, from over the pond, if you ever come over to London, I would meet up with you in North London. I'll take you around um, the area, show you some things that you're never going to see otherwise, and right. you, and and and, and um, give you a lot of history that you're never going to know about. So that to me is what it's about. It's not about um, having a million subscribers to me. Right. Anyway, to me, it's it's about having a nice little community, like with Kyle. Kyle and I have been chatting now for quite a while, a couple of years or so, whatever. Um, Dow, I probably met you on Lee's fan cams. Two thousand nineteen. Yeah. Two thousand nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Four, oh, yeah. Four years yeah. ago. You know, so it is that to me is what I love about it. We can all have a great debate, have a laugh, take the pee out of each other, but off camera, behind the scenes, on Instagram, we can have a great debate and have a laugh and talk to each other. And all of us, like, um, you know, yesterday the Yetis had a bad fall and hurt himself badly, you know, nose the, the carpet. Um, so you know, uh, and people have been thrown in all the, like, get well, check yourself out, 
if you're not feeling great tomorrow, you need to go to hospital and sort that out. Um, because concussions can be a nasty thing. And that, <clears throat> excuse me, that is the community that we've built as a collective. Right. You know, Facts. and that is what I think is more important. Um, in you know, we, we all talk to each other uh in times of, of fun, but we also talk talk to each other in times of pain. And uh that's what's more important to me, to be honest. I agree with you 100%. Yeah, and w- real quick before we let the volcano go off, uh, big up to Cyborg Ninja for the $10 super sticker. Thank you very much, my friend. Um, no, yeah, and any donations to the channel, guys, is is absolutely appreciated. I never ask for it. Um, being monetized on here is 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 a, a, a privilege. It just means that you know we were able to garner the support um, to get it. So thank you guys very, very much um, for that. Really, really appreciate it. Um, Kyle was the first was well obviously after after Jess Kyle was the first guy I messaged just being like hey uh, you want to come on this because Jet because Kyle was the first one of the first it, I think he was the first guest with with Jez on yep. the American Idiot Show so so I had to get Kyle on he was nice enough to come on man Kyle how are you man you good yeah big up to TJ big up to all the chats and. Obviously, these two gentlemen on my right hand side, two legends as well, and uh, on the on the screen here in front of me, and uh, Jesus Rice, we're now talking for a couple of years now, and it's amazing. And uh, the first thing I'd like to say is big up to you all and big congratulations, TJ. It's a great, great channel, great content, and it's great to know you all. And you put up a thing there this morning about going home after a gig to watch Heat, and I wrote to you saying <laughs> an all-time classic. So it's great. And <clears throat> Yesy, and when he fell there, I reached out to him like we all did. And it's a great thing. And when Jace was um, attacked that time, that was, we all reached out, and Jace reached out to me only last week. I didn't want, I didn't want to a bit of a bad time, and mm. I lost a friend of mine, and I matter. I suppose I'm after kind of put myself into work head first and I'm after, I have to kind of drag myself over it now and I have to get on my own life and the woman that's bringing me up for dinner there this evening just to try to get back into it and I'm trying to get back into like on this platform after this international break I'm going to start, you're going to see me face it up more and Jay's actually Jay's is, uh, is great because Jay's he tries to get us all to do our own shows, and Jez had been on to me as well about doing my show. I, I was listening while I was getting a shower. I was listening to his talking, and I'm going to do. Uh, I was thinking about doing a live show just on my own, just myself for the for the beginning, and just to answer questions and just to get my face out there, try to get a bit of confidence going, and then I'm going to start inviting people onto my show and start building up again and get my face back out there because I miss it. I miss the community. And it's more fought really because I took a step away from everything, and including my own family and my other friends here, and I can't do that. I'm not letting this really affect me, so I'm trying to get back on the level, I suppose. So I just like to apologize to everyone, and you will see me back again and get back in on the chats and all the rest of it. And Jay's been through, I uh, know Jay's been through a lot of work there trying to get a quiz going, and I actually missed that because the day before. Well, unfortunately, my best mate died, so I saw that, like, you know what I mean? And you do feel a bit guilty about that, but here I am anyway, so I'm back. I'm going to come back now after all this international crap, and it is crap. And uh, <laughs> we get back to read football. Well, I was just trying to say a big congratulations, and you're all great, and you're all there. I always think about you, and we are. We're a big family. We're a big community, and we're going to keep going and keep building relationships, and it's a great thing. It's a great thing to be involved in. And I'm at the meeting a lot of great people from America, from England, Wales, Scotland, all over the place. Even people from Poland, people from America, uh, I just said America, from all over yeah. the world, like, you know, so it's a great thing, that's, that's a great yeah, thing our- that we're doing. So that's me finished talking. So I just like to say big up to you all and big up to the chat. Yeah, absolutely. And guys, get your questions in. We are going to, we are going to talk football. Like it's not just going to be us patting ourselves on the back and, and and and, 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 talk, and talking about how awesome our community is, which it is, 
by the way, which it is. But just one, just one last thing there, TJ. I was about uh -oh. to say it there. I'm jumping off for a few minutes and I'm jumping back on then in a few more minutes. I just okay. want to get up as far as the restaurant and just park up the car. So I'll be talking to you from inside the car. <laughs> so just give me a few Dude. minutes and I get back to you. If not, the woman will kill me. So I'll talk in we a few all, minutes. We all have a boss, Kyle. We all have <laughs> exactly. a boss. Go do it. <laughs> I'll see you in a few minutes. In a few yeah, minutes. Uh, all right. All right, brother. Big night. up, Kyle. Good to see you. Yes. Yes. What, what an absolute Kyle, legend. Yeah, absolutely. One thing Kyle said, too, is um, how you guys came, you know, help supporting each other and so forth, the community. You guys supported me, too, when in April. My friend Skip died of cancer, fighting cancer for 21 years. You know, you guys were there for me. So, yeah, big up to each and every one of you. This show really got me through for, like, I'm still kind of thinking about it once in a while. So I know exactly what you're going through, Kyle. I know exactly what you're going through. Yeah, um, man. Yeah, it was it was tough. So, it's 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 always yeah. awful to lose somebody, and I'm going to a funeral of a friend on Tuesday, so I may be reaching out to you guys too. It's just it's just it's rough it's rough out there for everybody right now. I think the older that we get, the rougher that it gets, you yeah, know. And, and, and it, short, it's always good to have a support system, you know. Yeah, and one thing too, TJ, is I, I forgot to mention. Sorry to interrupt you there, but um, no, go a go, go. Show, A lot of this we know has happened during COVID, so a lot of this I think was kind of maybe a support system for a lot of us during a real tough time because. I know I've lost people, you know, through through that horrible pandemic. I'm sure a lot of us have, or you know someone's gotten really sick. Hopefully they've recovered. But um, so to put it that in context as well, how, how building a channel, building a community, you know, everyone kind of looking out for each other, not only through the pandemic times, but you know, getting out of it now and and moving on. So just wanted to make that, a note of that as well. No, 100%. I couldn't agree more. Let's let's see what the chat is saying. Um, AJ says, TJ, just want to say a massive thank you to you from one gunner to another. Thank you so much for making me welcome to your community. AJ, you're an absolute legend, man. Like, are you kidding? You came into this community on, on fire, and now you're a mod on Sarcasm City TV. Like, are you kidding me? You're an super absolute legend. Guy. Yeah, super positive guy. Always calling out the freaking likes. Always calling out the like count, which um, I know Flawless is going to love because that guy does like checks all the time. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for, for your support of the channel. Um, I, and you know, I'm going to get, I'm going to try to try to get through and, uh, get, <laughs> you know, get to everybody, but thank you. I mean, even the Spurs guys that are coming in and out of here and, and while I get this, while I get the chance, um, Will Stewart did say that he was going to call in, um, cool. Stella's at a wedding. Uh, mm -hmm. Will is, I think is traveling. He might be doing something with his son's soccer team. Um, sorry, football team. My bad. I'm gonna get absolutely. I'm gonna get absolutely canceled in the channel in the chat for that. But, but yeah, yeah. I just want to say, yeah, right, exactly. I just want to say thank you. Um, while I have the chance uh, to the guys at Tottenham away for helping me, they they literally pulled me out of the chats too because I saw them on Henry Wright's channel and absolutely started sewering them in uh in Henry Wright's channel, and that led to me meeting Stell and uh, having debates with Stell and arguing with them, and they ended up building a a good friendship with those guys. And, you know, it's, it's crazy that, you know, you go from the chat and now you have these guys phone numbers and are talking to them and, and yelling at them and calling them frauds. And, uh, right. uh um, so, so yeah, I just want to say thank you to Tottenham away for what they've done to the channel as well. Um, even, you know, here's the thing is that, you know, you, the, the people are always good. You can't always help the people with how they choose their, their sports franchises, clubs, you know, some of that can't it's, be helped. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. I've heard it's a real bad disease, this Tottenham uh, blue plaquea or whatever you want to call it. it it's it, it infests certain people in their minds. I don't know what it is, but no, you're absolutely right. No, big up to Tottenham. It's a great channel, great production, great, pe great people for sure. Um, they're yeah. just on the wrong side of the coin, but that's the life. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I want to call out that, that Moroccan, we were talking about people all over the world. I want to talk about, talk out, call out the Moroccan fraud, um, Dietrich's Kane, who's also in the chat as well. Um, he is, he's a Bayern fan now that Kane moved to, uh, Bayern Munich. So, so I don't even know why he talks about Spurs. Yeah. See? Yeah. No, I know. No, Dietrich's. I know, dude. I know. I know you're here. We might drop we might drop the link here in the chat a little later. And if you want Dietrich, if you want to come in here and spout your propaganda, you're more than welcome to. It's okay, but we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it closed just for a little bit longer. Muted. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm gonna mute him as soon as he starts. No, this 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 is the same guy who was wearing like Man City shirts, like with a fa like a face covering with a Man City shirt on, and I'm like, really, really. 
Uh, yeah, no, I like Dietrich's Kane a lot. No, Dietrich's Kane <laughs> is a real one for sure. Big up Henning Gooner inside the chat as well. Um, yeah, he's been an absolute support the same way. Drew Gunner at the same time. Drew Gunner messaging me on the side and Instagram, like making me logo mock-ups in the Drew Gunner fashion. Like the, the community in, that we have here is absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. So, yeah. yeah. Shout out I, to I can't Andrew. say enough about it. Yeah, sorry to hear about your news, Drew, with your um, daughter's mom. It's a oh. it's a tough thing. Yeah, tough thing to yeah. go through. Yeah, I'm really really sorry about that, yeah. Drew, as well. Yeah, we all go through it, and it, it, it's the same thing, you know. And I'm not going to name names, but I do have some people reaching out to me, you know, on Twitter and Instagram, saying, "Hey, you know, I'm struggling with this. I'm struggling with that." And you know, I'm not a I'm not a I'm just a guy that'll tell you what I think and, and how to get help if you can and be your support if I can be your support. So, um, you know, if you message me with something on Instagram, I will always respond always 100% of the time. So, um, it's just got a community that, uh, this guy down here has fostered right, right here. So yeah, just, just want to say it again. Just want to say it again. Absolutely incredible. We got 24 inside on a Sunday during an international break. Unbelievable. Did you see – okay, I'm going to talk just a little bit of football and then we'll get back to thanking people. Did you see Kristen Pulisic's goal yesterday? I did not. Against Tristegan? Woo! We lost three. We lost right. three-one. It was insane. It was an incredible goal, but then we got absolutely turned over um, after that. I saw Portugal highlights and I saw um, – was it France and Netherlands highlights? Mbappe's second goal was absolute class. I don't know if you saw those highlights or not. Um no, I need to go back and watch them. No, I, I watched all the European highlights, but not the American ones. <laughs> <laughs> no, and now we 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 play uh we play Ghana on um, um, on one nil Ghana. Yeah, one nil Ghana exactly. No, exactly. I think I'm gonna watch England Italy though. I might record that. When's that, Jess? When's England Italy? Do you know anybody else? I'll tell you what I did when England mm. played Australia. Mm. I went and painted one of the bedroom ceilings. <laughs> what color? Did you do a nice periwinkle blue? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> it was more. Right. Interesting. It was more interesting because I painted it, and I just sat there and watched it dry. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't <laughs> get the That's what international football does for me. It, yeah. It's yeah. just a ball fest. I did, as you guys know. I did last time there was a break. I did a, I did do a uh, not a watch long, but I did a Connor. Good to see you, man. Um, I did I did do a match review of England against oh you know Ukraine England. Right, you did. And it was I was like, do I really want to do this? Because it was such. <laughs> and I and I and I said after the event. Um, I think it was, uh, I can't remember, it was with Kenny or whoever it was, I can't remember. And I just said, I'm not doing it again. You looked like you looked like you were in pain. Yeah. You looked like you were in pain. Well, it, it was, was painful. Like, because I'm just yeah. thinking, what am I talking about? I'm talking about absolute rubbish because they are rubbish. Yeah. And um, somebody actually, I was, I was on Galaxo, Frank's channel earlier. And... Um, Somebody asked me a question. I forget who it was now. You, 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 you know who? If I could think the name, you'd know. Oh, um, Arsenal Manic. Arsenal Manic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Said to me, Jez, if I, I, I think I could make you happy to keep Arteta. I went, go on. Ask me the question. He said, if you had the choice between Arteta and Southgate, who would you take? And I said, Arteta. Ooh. I was. Southgate, Southgate is. Southgate is the most boring, 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 boring manager out there. But I'll shut up now. All right. Joining him jo joining us live joining us live from his car. And we'll 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 big up Connor here in a second, but joining him li is live from his car, doing a quick drive by to the show from Tottenham away. And Will Stewart, 365. Will Stewart himself. Don't get in an argument with him. Soccer Socrates. <laughs> what, what other what other misnomers do you have for yourself, Will? Football philosopher. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, like the, I like the 
the uh, little teddy bear polo drip you got on today, bro. That's nice. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's, uh, nice. it's a little golf, a little golf and bear. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I do enjoy a good game of golf every now and again. Believe it. Or not. Excellent. Yeah. But what? What do, you, no, just, what do you have to today, Will? Uh, so my son has the second game of the weekend. He played yesterday. They won eight one yesterday. Today they got a uh, another game today. So we'll see how that goes. That starts in about twenty five minutes. But Excellent. figured I I got I had to jump in. If this is the five hundred sub special, I had to jump in and say, uh, you know, this is one of the best American uh, Gooner channel out there and uh, one of the best YouTube channels on YouTube. And it's, I think it's an actual, I think it's a crime that you're only at six, you know, 600 subs. This should be like a 1K celebration or a 2K celebration by now, in my opinion. But you, know, you guys are all class acts, um, you know, OG is a little diluted, but hey, what can you do? <laughs> Uh, okay. I, 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 well, I, 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 you know why I'm deluded because I always think for this, but I get knocked down to this. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> but uh, no, I mean TJ is great. Um, it's just it's, it's a small world. You get this guy from Colorado who moves to Kansas City who knows a bunch of my childhood acquaintances and friends and oh, really, uh, yeah, yeah, small yeah. world. I'm playing. I'm playing. A, I'm playing a gig with Matt Schoff in two weeks. I'm going to bring you up. I haven't I seen Matt. Know you guys I'm, bring, like I'm playing a gig with him. Friends and stuff. Wow. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, we okay. do. Will, I, uh, Will, I want to yeah. hear your stats. I want to hear your stats. Oh boy, here we go. Of your tee to green, greens in regulation, fairway. <laughs> yeah. I want to hear, wanna hear all of well, that. Well, right now. Um, so in my in my early twenties, I was I was uh, mid eighties uh, golfer. That was my handicap, right? So I had a handicap of about you know fifteen. So not not great, but not bad. You know, I could handle it. Um, That's decent. That's decent. Yeah, and then uh, I I didn't play for you know I was in Korea for like 13, 14 years, and I didn't really play when I was over there. So uh, got back into it probably around twenty fifteen. And I'm I'm hitting high 80s now, 89, 88 on a good day. Still having some bad days, maybe mid 90s, but <laughs> um, yeah, nothing nothing great. Just I played in high school, I played in college, you know, just recreationally, not on a team or anything. And then in the military, I played a bunch. Right? That's, a, that's when, when you're in the military, you play a bunch of golf. Every military base or every Air Force base, anyway, because I was in the Air Force. Every Air Force base has a golf course on base, so. Usually wow, cheap. I didn't know. Like, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, and it's Air like uh, Force, ten bucks. The Air Force Say what? Is what? The Air Force is what sent you to Korea. Yeah, that's what was sent me there originally, and then I ended up meeting a chick, and you know how that works, and then uh, stayed over there full well, time. All your, that you're in the military and stuff, that kind of puts all your stat tracking and. Um, well, I was I was a signals intelligence. Pursuit of perfection. perfection. Yeah, I was a signals intelligence analyst in the Air Force, oh, too. Gotcha. Okay. So, that says a lot. I didn't know that. Okay. Well, I'll definitely tone it down a bit. So <laughs> we'll but, good info to know. I am I am right now, I am the three putt king. That's the only part of my game. So uh I'm a big guy. So like for me, I can hit about 225, 250 with uh with my irons. So uh Hit, reaching the green in regulation is, is pretty easy for me. You know, two to three, depending on the par. Well, obviously one on a par three. It's the putting that I have problems with. I haven't practiced my short game in a long time, so I'm, I am the yeah. three putt king right now. But I need I need a I need a five to get to two hundred. But my drive my driver is I'm good with my driver. I'm just out of control with it. Like I'm I'm I I'll either pound it down the middle or I'll be uh slight. Slicing bad. Slicing I can bad. hit about 280 with my three wood, and I'm really consistent mm -hmm. with that. So I tend to not pull my driver out of the bag at all. I don't ever really need to. So. Yeah. No. I, I I can do I can do I can do it, but like, I, yeah, I'm a I'm pretty much a, a hybrid. Like the feel the feel I like the feel of the hybrid a lot better, and I can hit it straight, which is kind of the kind of the point. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind I of like, the point. I like a good two iron. I'm a good two two iron driving iron type of a guy. I like a good. Oh, driver. nice, nice. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, bro. So. All right. 
But you guys are great. Uh, big up, Jez. I think he's a great uh, Lee Gunner, too. I'm a big fan of him. I know you guys are in with him. I've never actually had a conversation with Lee, I don't think. But I've, you know, I've seen him around the YouTubes all the time. So, yeah. But you guys are awesome. I'm going to go head over to the sidelines and uh, uh, yell, at, yell at referees for a little, a little while. So, uh, <laughs> referee, your mistakes are. XM point three seven two. What I ask him what law? What law is that? Right? Law twelve. <laughs> I, IFAB law twelve dash three seven four two. I'm a dad, man. I'm just a dad coach, coaching, coaching football. Yeah. Almost but I, uh, but I used to ref. I used to ref back in the day. So I got up to a grade six for USSF, which is like um, high level amateur stuff. So like. Yeah. For, uh, uh, Semi pro, like USL two, yep, uh, that type of stuff. Pre MLS league stuff. Yeah, but uh, cool. nice. But I haven't done that in a long time. But that's another reason why I'm a I'm a geek. I'm a nerd. What are you gonna do? Did you guys dig it up? Uh, I'll keep big up. Well, thank you so much keep for coming by, you guys. On Connor's the best graphics guy out there. Um, Cheers, man. Appreciate it. You guys rock. We'll see you guys. Next time. Good luck today. All right. Later. Thank on. Good luck today, yeah. man. Big up, man. All right. All right. Before we uh, start talking about how good Connor is, uh, we got to go to the super chat. Thank you, Carl Rossi. An official congrats, TJ and Co. Thanks for adding to an already wonderful community. We'll be dual listening alongside the Rugby World Cup. Big up, Carl Rossi, every single time. Uh, Carl Rossi is an absolute legend. All right. If you have not seen. Carl Rossi before we did catch him on camera on the 30th episode of the American idiot show. So go back and watch that one. Um, that was probably one of our best American idiot shows ever. That was insane. That was absolutely insane. I go back and I've gone back and listened to that one probably twice. Like it was, it was so much fun, but big up Connor. He's late, but lateness is greatness. As this community knows, um, this channel does not I'm um, before Connor. I'm, I'm just going to go off real quick. Oh, yes, I've, I I have had one and a half drinks, so just letting you know. Um, no, I just want to say I just want to say thank you to Connor. Um, I literally this channel does not go without Connor. Period. End of story. Um, otherwise, you would be getting like thumbnails that were made in paint, which is exactly what this channel was before I met Connor. So, um, so I just want to say thank you to Connor for all the work that you've done. Again, the positive reinforcements, the making sure that. You know, I'm ready to go with these with these shows, keeping me on my toes when I don't feel like doing it. Connor's there being like, nope, we got to do it. We got to do this, man. So, again, and whenever I do have another engagement, you get so you get a, the American Idiot show every week. And that is because of Connor, because Connor comes in and he will host like Dow's the man. Don't get me wrong. Dow oh, is the man. Connor pulls the strings like the Godfather. All right. So, for Carl sexual entertainment. Yeah. Not, not that kind of <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> that, that was a bit rough. That's bigger yeah. Than yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just want to say thank you to Connor again um, for all your work. This this channel is as visually great as it is content wise because of Connor. So again, Connor, big up. How are you doing, my man? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Apologies for the lateness. I was a bit later at the gym that I thought I'd be. Um, it's one of them situations where you want to be doing a certain exercise, but there's about 15 people waiting to do the same thing as you. So I had a bit of them tricky situations today, but now I'm all good. And um, I had to come here. It's a, it's a great occasion. Obviously, I completely agree with Will. This channel should be at, at least. 1k with uh tj the work that you just put in yourself as as a host as well you know you come to you say to me about the work i do for you i mean as much as i love working for you tj and talking with you as a football fan you know you're you're presenting and your hosting is, is as good as it gets and we can all see when you first began on your first stream you know you were like oh like i, oh, I look really shit and stuff and then look at you now it's like chalk and cheese you know so yeah uh, listen I, I love coming on here uh, whenever I weekly, whenever it is, every every other day, it's, you know, it's a great chance to be a part of with yourself and Dow as the main people on here. You know, it's a it's a great chance to be a part of. And obviously, when Jez comes on and the likes of God, there's too many people to name off the spot. Yeti, loads of people to name off the spot. Um, and yeah, and, and also not even that. And TJ, like, another thing is introducing me to you 
I remember we actually met. We we first started. Talking. I was gonna I was gonna ask if you remember yeah, how we it, met. Okay. It, was, it was the sporting. It was the sporting first leg. I, it, I don't know if it was on Jez's channel. It might have been. And um, we were talking about the uh, the sporting game. And I specifically remember I couldn't remember one of the players, and he was Japanese. <laughs> And you called him Matoma, the guy from Brighton. Oh yeah, <laughs> brutal, know, right. brutal but, look, yeah, brutal I mean, look. Yeah, we started. It was it was when the Sporting game was last season, and then um, he was talking about what I was going to say was not only you know if I come on here and you know obviously made links with you yourself and Dow, but you've also got me out there talking to people like Tottenham fans, Tottenham away. You know I've spoken to the likes of Flawless and all them people, so you've actually got me out there even more, promoted me and got me to people that I'm talking to that I never thought I'd actually be talking to and helping me out with my editing stuff, like introducing me to Will. It's helped me out a lot with certain stuff of editing and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm grateful for that. And uh, TJ, you're a great guy to, to work with. Um, and I hope this we're here this time next year and this is, if not doubled, tripled this number. So uh, fingers crossed because it's a good channel. It's a great channel even. And it's I feel like we do really good content and well, we obviously do good content because the people keep going back and back for more. So yeah, absolutely love it. And the fact that how many months has it been? Seven, eight months. And you've already got yourself up to what? 500 and something subscribers. Yeah. Seven, yeah. seven, seven seven and a half. I think now Exactly. Yeah, seven days, and a half. at the end of the day, you can thank me for the graphics work, but at the end of the day, it comes from your hosting. It's your channel. You know, you are the guy that's doing this every day, you know, starting the shows, going through it, giving everyone the questions, making sure the chat flows and everything like that. So big up to you, TJ, man. And hopefully we are double this number, if not triple this time next year. We, Yeah, no, we absolutely will be. And you're going to be doing content for some of the best or, or doing uh, visuals for some of the best creators out there. I'm just saying, I'm just saying there are some out there that don't even touch what you do. I'm just going to, I'm not naming names. Fingers crossed. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yeah, exactly. Yeti, Yeti says, I don't remember my first show with you, TJ, because I was smashed off my tits. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, 100 percent. Yeti. And I and I I remember because <laughs> we did we did invite Yeti to this show, but uh, Yeti Yeti heard it, heard his head. Yeah. And uh, Yeti, you, Yeti, you need to get that checked out. I swear. Get, go get it checked out. But but Yeti. Uh, is another guy in Lee Gunner's chats and Jez's chats that we that we met through there, and he, he's an absolute legend on camera. Like like what you guys don't re what a guy a lot of guys in the chat don't re don't realize is that when we're late, a lot of the time it's just because we're shooting the shit in the back and we don't realize what time it is. Yeah, literally. Okay, like like no, that's literally what it is. It says that all of us are shooting the shit in the back, and one of the guys, one guy who is incredible at shooting the shit is long haired Yeti. Okay, so yes, cheers. There we go. Now we're now we're going it. Connor's on the waters because he's responsible. But no, no, um, I'm trying to lose weight as well. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. no, exactly. That's that's being responsible. Oh, it's be yeah. at the moment. So yeah, because I know Christmas will come around the corner, and I will put on at least a stone. So oh, yeah, I know oh. fact, I'm trying to keep it clean until Christmas because Christmas is when it all goes out the window. You drink, you eat, you drink, you eat. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm trying to have a bit of a period where I'm just sort of staying healthy and sticking to the glass of water. So uh, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> yep, okay. absolutely. CMO, Jaminho, Gracie, me, if all of our younger fans had the carry of those three, my the future would be secure. No, 100% facts. And another an, and another young buck who, who keeps it real is this guy, True mm. Gunner right here, Josh. We keep saying it, Josh, but we got to get you on the channel. Like, literally, Dow messaged me about getting you on the channel, like, last week. I'm like, I, I seriously have this guy on Instagram. We just haven't made it work. But Josh, yeah. you will be on the American Idiot Show in the next few weeks. Just clear your calendar. I know you're out there freaking uh, doing what freaking kids in, their, kids in their kids in their kids in their 20s. No, not only is he working hard, he's he's getting the chicks. He's hitting the gym. Like, this kid is killing it. Gotcha. Kids stud. Kids are stud. Respect, man. Respect. Big up, Josh. Big, big up, Josh, my man. Big up, Josh. Yeah. Um, I'm drinking behalf of Connors. No worries, people. Yeah, yeah. no. See, Carl Ross has got you covered, bro. Yeah. Carl Ross has got you covered. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Yep, absolutely. No. Dead channel. You have no idea what's coming. Thank you, Jared Webb. Thank you for appreciate coming it, by. Appreciate, appreciate you. It. Appreciate I you. Like, he, he, had appreciate yeah. he had yes, to sub. He had to sub to do it. Yeah. Appreciate you, Jared. You subbed. Thanks for the extra sub to the channel, man. Really yeah. It. So now um, we are at we are at five we are at five fifty nine. No. So here's the thing: is we just jumped eleven subs. 
and because of all of Jared Webb's fake accounts. <laughs> Appreciate it, Jared. Thank you, Jared. I, I don't know. Is that Peter? Is he related to Jez's? I think buddy? he's. I think he's. Je, Jez, is he related to Pete? You think? He's Pete. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what's coming. Yeah. Okay. Big up, yeah. big, big up, oh, C cube. Jared needs to realize that one day, one day, he doesn't realize what's going to be coming. Mm. Seriously, that little clown <laughs> is going to get himself in big 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 trouble with the wrong person one day and that is going to be a big mistake because there's certain people out there in this in this nasty world where you can push people just one button too far yep and you're going to get caught and then you are in deep shit um and yep. that will happen that little that little guy will get found out by somebody and he will end up in serious serious problems and, yep. you know you yep. just can't teach people with no brains to shut up and it's sad but it'll happen one day yeah, one day just have some yep. civility about them exactly exactly Jealousy. all right so so he hasn't got the bollocks to get out there. Um, I remember having a debate, and no, I had a discussion with Pete, and, and he was like, Oh, in the close in the in the summer, oh Jez, I've been misled, I've been deluded, la 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 la. You know, I'm so sorry. I, I knew he was bullshit, <laughs> you know. But then the day, I'm 62. I've been around the world many, many times. And I can tell a bullshit because I'm a bullshit, right? <laughs> so at the end of the day, you don't you don't pull one over a bullshit. And I was like, yeah, okay, mate, nice one. Well done, well done, well done. Two weeks into the season, he's back to how he was. You know? Yeah. And I, 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 I called him out and I said, look, mate, you're a bullshit. I'm a bullshit. He said, oh, so you're talking absolute bollocks then. And I said, mate, when I was in business, running my own business, I used to bullshit all the time. Of course I did. That's because you that's how you win business, right? You that's facts. Yep. Big it up and make yourself out bigger and better than your competitor. And, you know, that's how I was successful. But the fact is, you know, I tried, I tried to explain to him, when you come in talking bullshit to play certain people in life, somebody somewhere is going to catch you out. Yeah, you don't hear me. You don't hear me. Seriously, seriously. Um, you got to love him. You got to love him. Yeah, you got to love him. Yeti, <laughs> Yeti, you completely threw me off, dude. I'm I'm done for this already. Oh my, already god. oh my god. CQ says Jez is the grumpy yeah, uncle giving real talk to the kitties. Her. Yes. Jez, please sing some Lisa Stansfield for all of us on this <laughs> Sunday night. <laughs> mate, that's not my cup of tea at all, mate. If you want a bit of Led Zeppelin, I'll give you some of that. A little bit of Oasis, yes. Jazz. Come on. A little bit of cigarettes yeah. and alcohol. I actually hate. Actually hate Ram says, Ram says, Dad is my TJ is my dad in real life. <laughs> TJ, look at the comment coming up. This will oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Is, uh, of course, he makes an appearance. I like you, you, and you, but you're a prick. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no! I did the solo show to announce this show, right? And I got one comment on it, and it was Pete saying, "Classic fan." <laughs> hey, I've got to ask this question. I, I, whether he laughs or I don't know. Can I just ask you this question, Pete? Oh my God! Why do you not? Why do you not respect TJ? <laughs> Why do you not? Because he's, he's done I'm an <laughs> Oh my god! Sorry, he's an American plastic fan. That's what he is. 
<laughs> oh dear. Pete, get a life, get a life, Pete. Some oh. I told you it was him, didn't I? I told you it was him. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And he had to come again to do that, by the way. Oh, well, just, just, for the just for the sub, Pete. Appreciate it, bro. Yep. Big, big up Jaime every single time. Another guy I've met in real life. Absolute yeah. real one. Mm -hmm. He says, shout out from the DC Armory. Arsenal America Brotherhood right here. Yep. The KC Gooners say yeah. hello. Um, nice. an another another, oh. uh, another that guy so that I would not be able to meet on uh, any other platform. Hussam is back in the chat. Big up, Hussam. Big up, man. The best Jordan, Dor Jordanian, excuse me, uh, Liverpool fan I know. And honestly, the only Jordanian Liverpool fan I know. But he does some real con real great content on the Twitter, on the YouTube. He's an absolute legend. Thank you for stopping by, Hussam. You absolute legend. I, I've caught some of Hussam, your videos with uh, going one-on-one -on -one with Terry Fleurs. Fantastic. You're definitely <laughs> putting Terry in his place at times, for sure. And shout! I think he's a big Liverpool fan, so he is. Yeah, yeah. he is the Liverpool uh, fan. He's he not a Liverpool, Liverpool fan. He's the no, Liverpool it. fan. I, I put my man Uncle Rods up in there as well. Um, yep. Yeah. No. Shout out Hasim. Let's get him on the show, TJ. Let's let's make it happen. Yeah. Because I think Hussam, a lot to talk about with Liverpool, Arsenal, Man City this season. Yeah. No. Hussam. Hussam. Um. Back. Backed me on. Uh. On the Safi TV. The one time I. Uh, I uh, streamed with him. It was like me and him versus. Uh. That. Absolute fraud, Jacob Wallraven from United Spurs of America, <laughs> and uh, and uh, and Staffy. But uh, yeah, no, big up Hussam. Hussam, I'll reach out, man. If you want to, if you want to come on the show, that would be incredible. Um, big up Minerals. Minerals FC is in. No one's on the, the minerals. House. Yeah, the Minerals. The Minerals is here. We are landing the Minerals as usual. Pete Haywood says because he jumped on the Arsenal and a bid for fame. Why Arsenal? Anything to do with AFTV? <laughs> Oh, dude. TJ, man. Pete, what is this thing, your fascination <laughs> with people being linked to AFTV? You continually say that when I was on AFTV, I've never been on AFTV in my life. I would never <laughs> have anything to do with AFTV, but you seem to have this fascination about people being linked to AFTV. <laughs> Because you watch yeah. AFTV. That's the yeah. link. And at the end of the day, Pete, I, you know, I, seriously, I, I spoke to you very nicely in the summer and we talked and talked and talked. But at the end of the day, you just come back with bullshit every time. Mm -hmm. And all the time you do that, people are going to hate you. And um, it, it's a sad fact, man. I, I, honestly, I really think you need to go and get yourself some help. Yeah, I don't hate him. I just feel bad for him. One being nice. I feel bad for him too. No, I want to address this from Wolves. Liverpool has 144k Jordanian fans. Only shows you know. No, I don't know Jordanians. I didn't know that. No, fair enough. Big up Wolves. Fair enough. I didn't know that. That's awesome. That's incredible. That is incredible. Yeah, no. Uh, there's a lot of Middle Eastern fans of the sport. Obviously, yeah. I did not know they they had so many Liverpool fans. Wow. Yeah. Have you, I don't know, TJ, how much like you've looked into like Arsenal, Asia and so forth, but like Singapore, like Ooh, massive, I need to look at that fan base there. Um, Malaysia, all those East uh, Philippines, shout out to all those Eastern countries for sure. I mean, 100%. Fan base for sure. Uh, there, and I think there are a lot of reasons why Arsenal has the revenue it does because there's a large purchasing power in that part of the world. So yeah, shout out to Middle Eastern fans, Eastern fans. We're here for everyone. Russia, absolutely. Korean, it doesn't matter, South African or African, whatever. We're here for. We are Arsenal. worldwide people. I yeah, think for, I think Liverpool have a big fan base in Africa as well, especially in recent yeah. times, because you have the likes of Mane, you've had Salah. That's right. where the big sort of not even even before that they've had many other fans. I think they're also very big in. Uh, in big main parts of Africa as well. But yeah, def I think Arsenal, America, we're talking about away from England, I think America and Malaysia, like maybe like, so yeah, I'd say, yeah, Singapore, that's where we've got big, big. Yeah. big yeah. No, I did just pull a dumb, I don't call myself the American idiot for nothing. Sometimes I do show my ass on this channel. It is what it is. Like, I'm sorry. I, I'm learning. I'm here to learn. I, I literally said, on the first show of the American Idiot Show, that I am here to learn more, and I have learned a ton, and I'm learning every. I, I've been humbled more time on this platform than I care to count. It's, it's a football so and geography lesson. It's a football yeah. and geography lesson. 
Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Big up Gunner Gathering. He's out there. Hello, guys. Want to jump in and show some love? Big yeah. up Gunner Gathering every single time. Lee, absolute ledge. Great guy over there. Lee Meadows, great guy. Um, yeah, C cubed, but yes, yeah, C cubed. Incredible comment. You are correct. Yes. Um, let's see what else we got on here. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I wanted to call this one out too. Pete, sure. if you're going to jump on a bandwagon, you better pick better than Arsenal. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> look, like, look, like, I don't know a lot of Man City fans. Why didn't I just jump on the Man, Man, Man City bandwagon? Sure, I could have, sure. I, yeah, I could have, I, I, I could have picked a winner, but instead I picked a winner from like 20 years ago. I mean, we win things every so often, but right. it would have been like easy for me because I started watching Arsenal around, oh God, 98, 99. I could have easily been a United bandwagon fan obviously 99 and and back in back in america back in the sports stores would only really have united like united yeah. and stuff because it was nike and it was so united Mar barcelona and madrid or yeah, is whatever i would run into america that's all you could really get it was hard to get you know if you were lucky to find an arsenal top or like a liverpool top or of course man city wasn't even didn't even exist really then so you know um yeah, and even Tottenham, you couldn't find those jerseys either. But actually, you could find those in the budget bin at Goodwill or Value Village. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> the English fans are like, what's he talking about? Yeah. Anyway, you could yeah, back in the days of the 90s, you couldn't find Arsenal gear at your sports store in America. Now you can find it all the time. Um, so it was like United has a massive following mm -hmm. in America, I guess is what I'm saying, because of the uh, Nike. Can I just answer this? <laughs> hey, I don't support AFTV as they are all fake people. Yes, they are. Um, and they just want to be mainstream. Yes, totally agree with you. And they follow the Arsenal narrative. I didn't mean TJ wanted to go on there, although I'm sure he would. I don't believe he would. I, I did go on there once. Sorry, Jess. Okay, fair enough. It was, okay. it was on accident. It was on accident. Oh, it was on accident. But you did say something that they, that was... Uh, uh, what's the word? negative? Right. It was the Arsenal, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember it. Yeah, it was the Arsenal yeah. friendly yeah. game, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, I meant he wanted to build a successful channel, mate. Why wouldn't he not want to? That's what you achieve in life. You achieve, you do things, Pete. And I'm addressing you this mm. now in life, you do something to achieve success. If you have the opportunity, my young man, to build a successful business, you would do it because it earns you money, it earns you reward, it gives you everything for your family. So that's what you do in life. You build something to make success. You don't get a house or like Dow Satin or... Um, Connor sat in, or Kyle, you know, and all right, where I'm sat, well, I'm sat in a, well, just this stupid thing behind my head, but, you know, you, you know, TJ's, everybody achieves success, whether you earn £10,000 a year, 100000 a million, 100 million, it's all about what you want to achieve, and that's what people do. And you can't call people out for it, buddy. Just, you know, have a look at yourself and do it yourself. There's yeah. something in you as a young man that can achieve something. True. Something True. you can achieve in life. And if you think you know something, you might be an artist, you might be a great um, guitar, violinist, pianist, pi pi pianist, whatever. Follow your dream. There's no <laughs> point in sitting on YouTube calling people out because you never exceed. You'll never, ever, ever achieve anything, man. And this is what I've been saying to you for so, so long. And I don't care if you want to come on my channel and abuse me every single time. I don't care. But don't call other people out because of me it, yeah. it's if you've got a problem with me fine i don't give a flying what's it but people i've got to know 
and we have a, a great community. Why? Why, 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 why? No point to it, man. You're never going to win. You are never going to win. And at nope. the end of the day, all you will see is your failure and other people's success. I'll leave it there. Thank you for the 10 subs, though. Thank you for the 10 subs, though. Um, yeah. I appreciate it. Um, uh, real, real quick, though, real quick, though. I do want to, like, do a quick intermission. I'm going to start ignoring uh, Pete because it's just a distraction at this point. But I do want to um, thank our mods um, because I don't think they get thanked enough con considering they have to deal with all 15 counts of uh, Pete Haywood at one time. Uh, big up Again, big up Kyle for joining us from the car. Um, but I do want to thank uh, Tottenham Away. Dal, obviously, is a mod. Connor is obviously a mod. Uh, Mama Fossey, the best mod on all of YouTube. Um, Mama Fossey's been there even though I never – I, I I just made Mama Flossie a mod, and she was like, "Cool," you know. I I really really appreciate her moder moderating my chats, even though she she moderates chats for channels much much larger than mine. And then um then obviously we got Jez as a mod. We have um Carl Rossi uh recently became a mod as well. Big up Carl Rossi, and then. Uh, last but definitely not least, uh, Jaminho, who has been an incredible supporter of this channel, yeah. um, since the be since the very beginning, Jaminho has been here in every single chat, every single American Idiot show. Um, he's there. So uh, again, I just want to thank the mods. You guys have been absolutely incredible. Um, in your support of this channel, it's been um absolutely incredible. So yeah, big up, big up, big up. Uh, all right. Kyle's joining him from joining us from our car outside the restaurant. Give, give, give us give give us give us an update, Kyle. Where what's the going OPS, on? Yeah, is that I have a woman here beside me throwing me daggers here because she said that she's starving. So we're going we're going in for a nice Chinese tonight. So we are, and uh, looking forward to spending a bit of time and relaxing. But I did say I was going to pop back in, so here I am. For a few minutes, I said to the missus, just give me five minutes. I'd be happy with five minutes. And I just uh, want to say, once again, big up to you all. Big up, Connor. Great to see you, my friend. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back to the shows. I'm looking forward now to getting back to where it should be, uh, to proper football. Because Ireland, as a soccer team, we're an absolute joke of a nation. <laughs> and we're we're gonna be we're gonna be left in the we're gonna be left behind for many, many years. We're and I think James may have to clarify this. I think I heard that Ireland and England are getting the Euro twenty twenty eight. Yeah. Now, yeah it's gonna be a shambles if we're not gonna be there. Shambles. Yeah. And I personally believe that we're not gonna be there. We haven't got the footballers, and we surely don't have the managers, and we don't have the money to get a manager in. So Ireland at the moment is upside down. John Delaney and them lads robbed the country blind. The FAI are a joke of an association. And it's terrible to watch what, what's happened to Ireland. Terrible. Yeah. So forget about 2028. I'm telling you all that now. Jamino and Car Rossi and the Irish legends... They'll all know what I'm talking about here. And if England are any good, if they're any good at all, they'd win that Euro Championships in 2028 with the caliber of, of talent they have. But they have to get rid of that Southgate because he's useless. <laughs> so, and as an Irish man, and I get this a lot, lads, and I like to just uh, point this out. The Irish people here be shouting. For the opposite team against England in an in the international in the international uh, tournaments, World Cup, European Cup, whatever. And I just think it's a laugh. Because at the end of the day, we all support English teams. But from my point of view, I wouldn't mind seeing England win the Euro Championships or World Cup. No problem with them winning it. I think they're good and I do always kind of shout for them. But the problem I have. And James Norris, as an English man himself, the paparazzi. England won the World Cup in 1966, and we're still listening about it. So that's, that's the problem. 
that I have about it. But international football is a joke. It's a, it's just oh, I, I just out of there. I just gets back to the English Premier League. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to put in America. Try supporting America, Kyle. We went out to Trinidad and Tobago three years ago. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> I, I, Kyle, I rather, tell, I, I, tell Mrs. Walsh to get the Kung Pao chicken. Mm. Mrs. Walsh. Huh? You're being told to get uh, what is it, Oregon? Kung Pao chicken. Kung Pao chicken. I love it. She says that she loves it. <laughs> yes, that, it is the best. It is Shut the up. best. Hi. Hello. Bye. 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 <laughs> so Kyle, she's way out of, she she's way out of your league, dude. She better have the bank card on her tonight. Oh and then that's, listen, I'm going to head on there. So I, I better win and get this training. We're freezing and over here in Ireland to start and get real cold again. That's so okay. I just I just came in there on what James was saying. I just roughly said this. If there's any, I, don't, I just caught the end of the conversation. I don't know who was directed at, but if there's any young fellow out there that wants to put themselves together and achieve their own their own career and their own thing. Everybody can do it, lads. Mm. I, personally speaking, was down in the gutters. I had nothing on one stage of my life. I went through a divorce, all the rest of it. But I picked myself back up. And here I am now with a good good part of my life. And I just started talking just there before I came back on. I got a knock on the car window. And there's a young fella here that's living on the streets. And he knows me. And he came over looking for some money off me. And I had a conversation with him. And I told him that he needs to give himself help. And that <coughs> I'm going to meet him tomorrow and give him a quote for the winter and I'm going to try to direct him in the right, on the right footpath to try to get his life, to turn his life around. That's all we can do. We can just be a community to help people and do the best we can. Well, any young fellow out there that's listening, that's, if you have a dream, go for it. That's all I said, because he can do it and you will do it if you believe in it enough. On that note, I'll catch you all, lads, at the weekend. Big up, come Kyle. on, the Gunners. Uh, come on, all the legends. Go look to you all. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you later. We'll see you later, Kyle. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Kyle's lady. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> yeah. What a legend. Oh, man. What, legend. what an absolute legend. No, no, this guy, this guy, I've had very, a, a couple of different conversations with Kyle because Kyle's a, I, I don't think you mind me sharing this. He's a, he's a social worker. Um, in Ireland, so he he, he it's his job to help people. And my my wife is also a social worker, um, here in here in Kansas City. So it's 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 a huge connection, and what he does for people, um, is imme is immeasurable. So mm -hmm. so big up Kyle, um, he's been an absolute legend, not just to us, but to to everybody he comes across. I don't think there's anybody who can say a bad thing about Kyle Washgutter. Mm -hmm. Just just saying. Um, we'll, we'll answer this question. We'll answer this question in a second, but I do want to, I do want to, uh, uh, as we go through, we have to like interweave the thank yous, right? Yeah. So, um, one person I do want to call out is Del Boy Gunner TV. Mm. Del Boy Gunner TV got me on camera on one of his, uh, on one of his call-in shows and is one of the most welcoming guys you will ever meet. So thank you i just want to say thank you he, he he's not on the thumbnail we're going to get to everybody on the thumbnail but i do want to say thank you to to del boy if you're watching this i haven't seen del boy online in a minute but uh del boy if you're watching this i want to say thank you very very much um for for um being such a welcoming channel um for for us yeah what a, what a, what an absolute ledge okay um yeah th throw this up there because i want i want to i want to hear i want to hear i want to hear dal's answer to this my answer first okay my answer first is that um, how did I start from Arsenal? Well, uh, I was with um, my daughter's mom in about uh, 1998 or so, and I've always played football growing up. Um, and as with my daughter's mom, we weren't getting along, and she was always out, like with friends, like partying and stuff. And I was kind of always at home late at night with my child. And they finally had um, Fox. <laughs> It was a uh, football ch um, Fox World Sports channel on cable television. Late at night, they would show replays of the weekend's matches. So I just started watching those late at night um, and watching more about Dennis Bergkamp. And I remembered the name from, I think it was the 96 Euros he was in. And so I started becoming a Bergkamp fan and trying to get as much information as I could about Bergkamp you know, the Netherlands team, because I kind of just really like them. I don't know, the orange. Um, but 
But then I started doing more research like on Arsenal, finding about Arsenal and Interior and Reed coming into the mix and so forth. And a lot of the information then, you know, wasn't the internet. You know, I, I had to go read like 442 Magazine, um, which the other ones like, I can say it's like Soccer Magazine or some shit like that. But it was mostly 442 Magazine because where I worked was um, right above a big mall area and a big, a big bookstore. So magazines were, <clears throat> were readily available. So I basically started buying 442s and read about Arsenal and I didn't really, and Manchester United was really popular in America at the time, obviously with the treble and so forth in 99 and everywhere you went, you could find Manchester United hats and t-shirts and so forth. And it was all about David Beckham, who I knew was a good player, but I thought he was kind of like a pretty boy and the whole paparazzi thing. But what really turned me on to Arsenal was just watching Thierry Henry, to be honest. I've never seen someone move as fast, as mm -hmm. quick, score goals like that. And just some of the songs and, of course, the, even like the, the old school logo that Jez has up. I just thought there was something different with the club. Um, I'd never really, like I said, I'd never really seen football played that way. Growing up, it was, you know, for those who played in, in America, if you did or not, probably not most of you, it was really just a kick and run type thing, right? Um, there wasn't a lot of tactics that was taught and so forth. So getting into the sport more as I was older, just, you know, it just, it just became Arsenal. And after that, it was just everything Arsenal. You can see I got banners, I got scarves, I've got hoodies, everything. So yeah, that's kind of my story. No, I love it. I love that. No, and the, big up Tony. DJ Crane, Spice Girls oh, made United popular in America. Yeah. I mean, that's part of it. Part of it. I'm a huge Oasis <laughs> fan, though, too. So even before all that, like in the early 90s, 93, 94, 95, I was a huge Oasis fan. And, you know, I knew they were like Man City, but I knew Man City was like Division Two at the time and so forth. So I wasn't going to follow a club based on like a music band I like, right? So, right. I, yeah, <laughs> but I would say that I was interested. I, I think I had a slight interest in Man City, but during that time, I was more interested in beer and girls than I was football. So there you go. There you go. I want to, I want to hear, I want to hear Connor's story and then I want to hear Jez's and then I'll give mine, but you guys, you guys have already heard my story. I think. Yeah. Um, I started following Arsenal. Um, well, my, my family has always been Arsenal fans. Most of them anyway. Um, they've always been Arsenal fans all the time. And uh, my uncle is still a season ticket holder. My granddad was a season ticket holder. And my dad was also was a season ticket holder. Then prices inflate and it becomes sometimes for people who don't make a lot of money, very hard to go to and pay for every year. That's unfortunately the, uh, the scenario. But perfect timing because I finally got this back from my dad's place. And for all the people that sometimes come on, O'Connor's chatting shit, he's a fake fan. This is what I had when I was two years old. This is the 05... <laughs> 0506 shirt. Uh, oh, and, nice. Uh, yeah, so I had this when I was a kid. My dad literally got me straight into Arsenal as soon as I was born. This is probably going to be something I'll give my future child, hopefully, uh, boy. So uh, that's something I want to get framed and keep before I show that. And uh, yeah, I, I started supporting properly Arsenal because obviously when you're a kid, you're not really... <clears throat> I didn't really play much football like my mates did. I wasn't like 100% into it. Then when you get into school, when you're my age and when you're about 13, 12, 12 13, everyone's just talking, especially in the UK, I don't know about, about America, it's probably a bit different over there, but everyone's talking about football when I'm on the weekend and stuff. And I thought, you know what? Let me just start watching it now and get into it. And um, yeah, and uh, it was obviously awesome for me. And uh, Brentford were, at the time, my local team. But I thought, nah, I, I mean, as much as I could have go and do that, Arsenal is literally <clears throat> practically everyone in my family. So um, apart from one uncle, uh, which makes no sense, but it is what it is. And um, but yeah, apparently all Arsenal started watching them, and then I've fallen in love with them ever since. You know, been to multiple games, and will never ever change. So uh, yeah, that's sort of like a quick, quick story. And uh, it's all just through family, as, as most fans are really. It's all just goes through. Oh, my dad, my mum, granddad, whoever, aunt, uncle supported this team, sort of leads on and then carries on. So, uh, and then from that shirt there, that's where it sort of where you came from. So, yeah, that's that's how it really began for me. And, uh, yeah, love it. I like I like how you answered the question. I don't even know if you saw this from CQ, but I like how you answered that question, like, automatically. Literally, only one. Only one. Yeah. Well, now, now two, because my little cousin follows him. But it's been, oh. it's pretty weird. Well, my uncle, as a kid, he was a bit of a glory hunter. From London. From London. And he so he first began supporting Liverpool, 
And don't forget, his my granddad, his father, was an Arsenal fan. So was his brother, my uncle. My other, my other uh, uncle, three of them, three brothers. My other uncle was a Barnet fan. But that's lower league. That's talking really low league in, in England. And uh, but yeah, he started supporting Liverpool at first. And I don't know what happened. But then he thought, Do you know what? Instead of supporting who my family supports, who are more successful, I'm going to go ahead and support the other guys, Tottenham. And he's just been Tottenham ever since. So yeah, there's only, you, I guess you could say two, because my, my little cousin now is sort of drawn the dark side. And unfortunately supported them lot down the road so uh but hey who's winning here at the end of the day so. they'll they'll learn at some point they'll I learn it is what it is I got a question for jess and connor basically i think that jersey wasn't that the last highbury jersey that on i think he scored a double in against wigan right we beat him 4-1 or 5-1 at highbury it's, and it's got the little, it's got the little yeah. 1930 yeah, i have that i have that uh shirt as well actually yeah, is, isn't yeah. that the? Oh, I, know I know it's tiny, but it is a nice kit. It is a yeah, very well, but, yeah, mine's not tiny like that. It's small as yeah. a tiny because it's made <laughs> in Singapore or somewhere. But I had that jersey. It didn't, and it did have the Nike, but it was definitely a counterfeit. Yeah, but I had that somewhere, but yeah, that is the last Highbury shirt, right? It's a great, yeah, it is, yeah. It's a great kit. It was the last season at Highbury. That's one of my all-time favorites. It's the, last, it's the last kit before we move to compete with Europe's Elite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right, Jez. Jez, your turn. Well, I didn't have a lot of option, really. Uh, <laughs> my grandfather's sports guy was born in Arsenal in 1924, and I was born in uh, their back room uh, in Gillespie Road, right opposite the... North Bank in 1961, and uh, then my parents rented a place in Avenel Road, right opposite uh, the East Stand of Highbury, and eventually bought the place. And uh, I didn't have any options. There was no option for me. It was Arsenal, or you're out the house. So, um, <laughs> Class. no. Back in the day, if if you were born in uh, in Highbury, you supported Arsenal, and the fact that my grandfather had supported them since 1924. Um, and I, as a little kid, I used to, when I was old enough to know what was going down, he started taking me to games and everything. And um, the love built, and yeah, I mean, I, I did a stream once about my first ever trip mm -hmm. to the game, I remember that. And the uh, emotional experience it was walking up to the top of the West Stand and everything. And um, yeah, so that was me and Arsenal. And uh, it's never got any less ever since. And I remember my um, I remember my 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 grand saying to me once um, match day was home was always the same. I'd run up Avenel Road up the corner into my grandma grandma and granddad's house and we'd always have pie and chips before the game my granddad would sit there in his chair by the fire smoking his pipe and he'd tell me stories of arsenal in the 20s and the 30s and the 40s and the 50s and i used to sit there fascinated yeah listening to these stories and then he said right come on let's go and off we go and the one thing I've got to say, I've got to admire to my granddad. He had been stood in that North Bank since 20, since 1924, all through the 40s. When he took me, and he don't forget, he used to drink with his friends in the pubs around the area. But when he took me at the age of seven, he took me into the West Stand because he said, there's no way I'm taking you in the North Bank. It's too busy. You'll never see anything. Mm -hmm. And that's um, where we used to go. So I have to respect him for that. And he took me to my first ever away game when I was allowed to go um, at the age of 10. Um, and my mum wouldn't let me go before that. So that's my journey, and um, I have I, I am actually starting to write a book about it. Um, I've yes, got, I've, I've got Overdue. the I've got the structure. I'm starting it. Um, 
I have to say, it's quite difficult, actually, to mm. do it. I, I, I thought it'd be easy, but it's not. It's not. But that's my journey, guys. That's my journey. And uh, all these years later, um, 50, 50, 55 years later, um, here I still am, talking mm. about the Arsenal. And uh, I still... I still um, Think, God, how much money have I spent? <laughs> um, and two thousand five hundred and eighty-five games later, I'm still, I'm still there. So it is what it is. So there did, you you go. Ever, did you ever participate in any of the bust ups and stuff when you were younger in your teen years or twenties? No, no. Football got pretty violent in the seventies and eighties, didn't it? At times. Not by choice, Dow. Yeah. Just kind of brought it, just kind of pushed into it, right? When the crowd comes out. Well, son, um, well unfortunately, um, I, I was chatting in Galazzo's. I said, why do people call themselves gooners? Mm. And she said, I don't know. And I said, well, back in the day, you would never, ever, ever have called yourself a gooner mm. unless you were one of the firm. Mm. And three firms. You had the herd, which is the main firm. You had the North Bank elite and you had the Gooner elite. The Gooner elite were down in the clock end. And you had the away firm predominantly, which was the Herd and the Gooner, North Bank elite. And when you went to games, I mean, I knew a, a lot, a lot, a lot of the guys in the Herd. Right. Right. Were about my age. You know, so we knew a lot of, I knew a lot of them. Sure. I still, I still meet up with a couple of three of them now. Mm -hmm. uh, if I go up there, I always go for a beer of them. Um, but no, I never, I never was, I was never part of it. I was never yeah. part of the firm. Yeah. Right? But unfortunately, sometimes you've been in the wrong place at the wrong time, yeah. and it would come on you. And what do you do? Do you just stand there and get smacked up? No, of course not. You no, defend yourself the best you can. Look, I'm not a big guy. Sure, I'm not. I'm not a big, big, muscly, strong guy. But you just got. to, I mean, I've told the story many times. The 23rd of December, away at Tottenham, mm. we beat Tottenham five nil. We're walking back down White Hart Lane, and it was going absolutely fucking mental. Wow. The herd were right in front of me. The uh, North Bank elite was over there. You had the Yid Army. Which was their firm over there, and there was bottles, there was all kinds of shit being front. The police couldn't handle it. Mm. There was not enough police, and it was carnage, absolute carnage. And I'm like walking down with my mates, trying to distance ourselves. We were like literally trying to get away because we just didn't want any party of it. Over the road came half a brick, hit this guy in front of me. He oh. the main force, hit me straight in the face, knocked out four teeth. Mm. Spit, spit my lip from there to there. The scars yeah. were there. And um, that was it. I was on the deck, um, like, what's going down? My, my, my mates picked me up and carried me. I had blood streaming out the face. Um, I ended up in the local uh, hospital down the road and they basically stitched it up. And the reason I've got horrible teeth, that's why I never show my teeth, is back in, the, back in them days, they, we, we didn't have, um, yeah, when you're that age, you didn't get free NHS to do all your teeth and shit. Oh, really? mm -hmm. All they did was like try and do the best they could do with the gaps and things like that. Um, and I've got, I, I, hate my teeth um you never see me like big smiling guy i hate them it embarrasses me but you know it is what it is and that's how it was in the day man um and there was i can probably oh, i'm not going to say i mean i bore you with it but i can tell you probably another six seven times um when it all went horribly wrong um uh, but yeah, so it was, man, back in the day. Jesus. 
fucking hell. Nothing like now. No, 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 nothing like now where it's just it, it's just a day out. It's just a day out to people. Yeah. It's a tourist you know, attraction well, nowadays. There's definitely still some, you know, now and then. You know, you still got the yeah. stuff, you know, but it's not like nothing like probably where you used to like, well, just explains there, nothing like that. Like, I think a lot, just, would a lot of your buddies that you meet with bars who are part of the herd, were they, are they sort of like regretful now in any way? Like, God, I really should have done that. Or are they sort of like, hey, that was part of the times and, you know, it is what it is. Are they kind of regretful? Or are they sort of just like it was what it was, and that's life. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a different. It was. They were. Uh, I mean, I, I don't want to say the wrong thing here. Right. The fan base then was so different. You would never get um, the situation you've got today of these nonsensical, stupid songs. Because mm. back in those days, if, I mean, I, like, I can remember the 74 season. We were nearly every home game we and away game, we were booing the players off the park. Yeah. We were absolutely mm. crap. We nearly got relegated. We won the last game. No, no, we drew the last game of the season to save relegation. Man United went down that year. Um, and it was just an absolute awful time. And then it gradually improved a little bit. You know, Terry Neal got us the free cup finals we won one of them and uh great game one of the best cup finals i've ever been to in my life against man united and it gradually built it built it built but the football violence was quite horrendous mm -hmm. but yeah if you if you were going away to where well, it could be anywhere it could be oh, well, i've heard it was really one of the mm -hmm. going to stoke Stoke City oh, was an absolute yeah. nightmare. Yeah. It's a shithole of a stadium, and the fans were a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, Aston Villa, nightmare. When you had the the uh, the, 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 oh, the yeah. villains, their crew was called the villains. Um, every 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 team had a, a, a crew of, or, or firm of some sort or the other, and you had to be so wary. Hmm. Seriously, I mean, oh, yeah. no, I believe you. If they saw a group of six, eight people, and you, and the problem is, because of all the accents, mm. you could be. I mean, I mean, we went to a whole game, it was not for FA Cup third round game, right? And we were walking, we parked away, away from the ground, and we were walking on every corner. There was a group of guys, yeah, mm. and we you just prayed. Nobody asked you for a cigarette or asked you for a, the time. Because as soon as they heard your accent, oh, Jesus, you're in the shit. Yeah. It's like if, if, if you go to New York, right? New York, yeah? And you go to San Francisco, you know the difference, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you'd pray that nobody asked you. And you'd be like, like oh, God, you know, like this. Because a lot of these quirky old football grounds, right, there's no easy way to get to them. So you had to go through all these back streets and, like, alley, not alleyways, but things like that. Sure. So you're going to get pounced on every single time. And I, I, I just, before I shut up, I'm, before I shut up, well, this, is, this is a very, very true story, right? Uh we had we had to go to Port Vale away. It was a League Cup game, right? So we pitched up at um, I'm trying to think the name of the ground, <clears throat> and we saw the signs for the Port Vale ground, and their nickname is the Valiants, right? So we're walking up there, and we said, right, let's split up into groups of, groups of three. Okay, there's about twenty of us. We split up, and we got lost. We, we saw this lady, right? We saw this lady. She must have been 55, 57 at the time. We we're probably 23, something like that. And my mate Paul said, oh, excuse me, how do we get to the football ground? And she went, oh, yeah, no problem, my love. She said, just, just go up this road here and turn left. There's a pub there. There's a pub <laughs> and you're right by the ground. And you'll be right in time to have a pint before 
you go to the game. And we were not mm-hmm. thank you so much. And we said, oh, right, is it is it a home pub? And she went, no, 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 they're all down there. They're all down there. Mm-hmm. They're down there. So we thought, oh, fair enough, we're going there. So we walked down, we saw the pub, we could see the ground, right there, right there, right? And we could see down the road there on the away end, a load of Arsenal, yeah, police, everything. So you've walked in this pub, right? Yeah. And it was a home cut. It was a home pub. <laughs> oh. Oops. She had stitched right up. We had no colours on. You never, you never walk colours away. Never uh-huh. walk colours away. We walked, and there's three of us. Three of us, right? And there's about thirty of these guys in their home shirts, oh, black and white shirts. Oh, shit. <laughs> they, all, they all had their, they all had their Burberry hats on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stone Island bloody jacket, so you knew they were a crew, and we're like, oh fuck me, idiots! <laughs> and they parted their way, they parted their way, and I was like, what do we do? So we thought, fuck it, we got to, we got to bollocks it out. So I walked up to the bar with the other two guys, and I went three drinks of. Uh, Bitter, please. And the barman looked at us, served them, served them, served them. Right. One pound ten a pint, then. Wow. And we like, we we got to face this out. So he's, and his fucking great big bloke come over, fucking scars down his face and all that. Hardly any teeth. And he come up, he went, you're Arsenal, aren't you? <laughs> and went, yeah. And he went, give me your hand. Oh, fuck, here we go. And he shook me hand. He went, fair play to you, sunshine. You've got some fucking bottle. We drunk our drinks and fucked off. <laughs> <laughs> we faced him out. We faced him out. Nice. Oh, wow, what a wow. story. I swear to God, though, boys, I'm not lying to you. My hand was like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Terrible. my God. Unreal, unreal story. Thank you, Jess, for sharing that. Holy that right shit. Now. Dude, I, I, would, I would need a new pair of shorts after that. I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, all right. You're right. I mean, America, they would just shoot no, you America, America. No, yeah, you just get shot and it'll be all right. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, because you don't have to worry about it anymore after that, anyway. Um, big up to all 25 inside. Make sure everybody is smashing the likes. And I'm definitely going to clip that story because that was absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for uh sharing that, Jess. Wow, wow. See, no, my, and my arsenal story is is so lame compared to that. <laughs> You were in a pub with a bunch of twelve guys wanting to kick your ass. No, <laughs> no, I wasn't. Uh, to, 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 you know that that should not come as a shock to people. But again, yeah, no, that's that's what that's why we say this this channel has the best stories. They have the we have the best content creators. We have the best people um, on this channel. So again, Jez is included in that in that group, um, obviously. So, wow. Woo! All right, what do we got? We got here. We got a couple of starred comments, by the way. Hey, everybody, make sure you are smashing the likes. Make sure that you are subbing to the channel if you are new. We're at 559 now, and I know 10 of those are, are Pete Haywood. So go ahead and sub if you are new and listening into the channel for the first time. I know we got we got 25 in here. That means half of you have not subbed. Make sure that you sub. Uh, we, we stream probably three or four times a week. Uh, we don't say that enough. Um, three or four times a week on this channel, and you can also catch me um on tottenham away sarcasm city tv um the staffy tv now me and staffy are working on a couple of things um and obviously you can catch us on tony glad gunner tv as well which i do want to call out tony Claude gunner tv again thank you so much to tony for all that he does for the channel um he has shouted us out and he has been a friend of the channel um obviously dal has a weekly show with him and i do the watch alongs with him as well so uh yeah big big up tony um 
we do have a couple of people coming in and out. I, I'm delaying, guys, so I hope you guys are cool. I'm delaying because we have we have one guy that I don't want to mention his name who's definitely going to come on. I want it to be a surprise. And then we have uh, possibly another uh, certain individual from Georgia coming on, um, but he's too busy playing football right now, uh, out doing Eddie and Kedia on the on the pitch right now. And it, and if you're not getting my hints, you should know who that is. I'm I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Um, oh no, he does, he does. Uh, C cubed. Have you, why have you not added Dow to the NA football group chat yet? Because I don't need Dow uh, going at it with Will Stewart uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I ain't got time for clubs that don't win anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, Dow, if you want to be added to that group chat, I will. But I, I sure. figured. I would love right. to be in a group with Color Me Bad. <laughs> I'll get you added right after the chat. No, no, all right. I love that channel. It's, it's, it's really good. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. And no, in the North America group chat is just literally North American content creators. So I'll get you at it. Um, C cubed. Are you ever going to introduce us to your wifey TJ? I want to see the poor woman that puts up with your shit. She's the ultimate legend. I agree with you. Um, she is way out of my league. Uh, you can just take my word for it. If you follow me on Instagram, I got pictures of her on there. She's absolutely <laughs> incredible. She's everything. She is way out of my league and she puts up with my wedding singing theater um and budding youtube habit slash hobby you know it's one of those things where calling back to what Je jess was saying i never got into this to make money i i got into this to maybe like be able to buy some beers and you know uh pay connor and mm. hang out you know and that's what we do so so that's that's that but yeah are you ever gonna if she wants to come on here she can come on here but she does she doesn't watch the channel uh, she, 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 she knows it exists and, uh, she tolerates it. So, you know, uh, the same boat. yeah, yeah, no, it, it's one of those things together. Hell, they got lots to talk about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. And that's why it's just like, if we ever, if Dal, I know you, you extended the invite one time, if we ever flew up there, they would, they would hang out for a long time. Yeah. You know, that yeah. Yeah. Well. TJ, yes, I know. why flight football? She played when she was a kid, but um, and we have season tickets to the Casey Current, which is the um, the the female club in in Kansas City. So she enjoys watching it, but she's not like obsessed like I am. Mm. My wife yeah. likes it too, Jess. She she's not as obsessed as I am, but she knows the players. She knows, you know, she loves Tier. She loved Thierry Henry Vanger. She thought Vanger was really cool because he was like the professor, and you know, just I got her into it. You know. Um, I'll tell you a quick story though. When we uh, first lived together, <clears throat> and she didn't realize the Arsenal love was so deep, and so there's a bar here in Portland called the Horse Brass, which was uh, um, owned by an Englishman named Don Younger, who got unfortunately passed away three or four years ago. Rest in peace. But he was a, uh, I believe he was an Arsenal fan. I've heard that he was an Arsenal fan. I've also heard he was a Villa, a massive Villa fan. So I'm not 100 sure on that. But anyway. About 2005, 2006, 2005, we lived in an apartment before we bought our first house. <clears throat> and so I would say, you know, let's get up. Let's go to the horse brass in the morning because we'd get the full English breakfast, you know, the sausage, beans, toast, the whole deal, right? And they would mm -hmm. wheel out the big screen telly. And so I'd eat breakfast and watch Arsenal. You know, I only would go if Arsenal was playing, right? I, if I was some other team, I'd just watch it at home, obviously. So if Arsenal was playing, let's go to the horse brass. Let's have breakfast, you know, 7 a.m., on a Sunday, well, I would drink about six Newcastles and be completely destroyed on a Sunday at like 11 o'clock in the morning. So she would eat the breakfast. I would drink all the beer. And so I would watch Arsenal pretty much half drunk at 7.30 in the morning on a Sunday. And mm -hmm. so we used to do that off and on once in a while. You know, she'd read the newspaper. Or I'd drink in and Actually, we'd share the breakfast, right? A big English breakfast is really big. So we were able to share that. And then there was this Scottish guy that was the bartender. And you couldn't understand a word he said. And uh, his name was Arthur. And he's passed away too now. But so my wife has been through the thick and thin with me for Arsenal. She's seen me drunk almost every morning on Sundays for about a year. And then um, she's put up with me screaming and yelling at 6 in the morning when uh, Declan Rice scored that goal against United. Um, she's put up with my screaming and yelling 
when we won, you know, several games because they're early in the morning here. So up to me, I'm screaming and yelling, waking up the whole family, waking up the house. And, you know, she's gotten me pretty Arsenal. All my Arsenal gear comes from her. The bag, everything that's Arsenal has been gifted to me for my life pretty much. Mm -hmm. So she is definitely yeah. a fan. So yeah. she's very anxious to get up to North London next summer. Um you know, hopefully around the end of August before September, somewhere in there, because the weather's still nice. But so we're hoping they get up there for a couple games, man. But she is definitely our. She is definitely a Guna, Lady Guna. Guna. Yes, Guna, absolutely. Not, yeah. Guna. 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 But, uh, uh, hold on, I'm trying to find. I'm trying to actually. Let me let me show you guys. I can show you guys. She I can show you guys this it. picture. Let me show you guys this picture of me and like people are like, hey, do you ever want to see my wife? Blah blah blah. I'll show you this picture right now. So mark it. Uh, one thirty-five into the into the stream here. So <laughs> you guys can you guys can just go ahead and and say yes, she's one hundred percent out. Of, she's one hundred percent out of my league. But let me show you the picture from when we went to watch Arsenal at um, DC United. Here, hold on. Yeah, so so that is. Yeah, so that's my wife, bro. Jeez. Yeah, I know it's a joke. God, lucky, absolute... you lucky guy. Hello, Mrs. Warren. Yeah, no, it's an absolute joke. So yeah, that's no, cool. that's her. She 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 sat and uh, she sat by and like watched me like shake as I met troops like and and <laughs> and hung out with all these different she people. Took that picture and... of you guys, right? She took that picture of you too. I'm sure. Yep, she took the picture of us. No, and she was just like. I was literally I was literally talking to her about like I want to meet I want to meet troops I want to like you know really get the arsenal experience and hang out and she she was literally was like what what shirt can I wear like what do you got for me to to help and and she she was there with us like like cheering she lost her mind when when Jesus scored that chip um you know for the first goal of the preseason it was unbelievable to have her there with me for that experience. So yeah, that, yeah. that was like one of the best, that was like literally one of the best days of my life. It was so incredible. Awesome. Like no yeah, cap. It was incredible. Together. You guys got beautiful yeah. kids. Beautiful oh, kids. Geez. Oh, I really need to get your arms. Lucky. Yeah. yeah. Would you love do. to. <laughs> no, we're, 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 look, we're looking at it. We're looking at it. No. How much did you pay the lady for this? <laughs> <laughs> No, we were actually. You know what's funny? We were fun. It's funny is we were sitting. We ended up getting sat next to the DC Armory chairperson, um, in the Arsenal support section, and they were uh, two ladies, incredible, very, very, very nice people. So, like, Arsenal have an incredible support system over here in America, incredible. So, yeah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, all the dudes like bigging up their wives. TJ, you and me, and brothers having wives so far in our leagues. Yeah, no, I know, I, I, I get it. No, but Carl, you're the best looking Irish Frenchman we know. So, or French Irishman, whatever order you want to put it, call it in or put it in. Yeah. What a looker. Um, I, I fooled her. That's it. I fooled her. <laughs> Funny thing is, this is, this is a weird thing for me, right? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, when I, uh, my wife lived, lived on, if you imagine the, the, the terraced house, well, you, you won't know, but. The terraced house is up Avenel Road, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have gardens with a high six foot brick wall, blah, blah. My wife's garden was the one behind me, right? So she was in a road called Pomeroy Road. So where my house was, you imagine it's like a T junction type thing, yeah? Mm -hmm. She absolutely detests football detests it and and she asked him why now when we first got together right this is, this is a couple of funny stories for you yeah but no the, the stories keep them coming we we um we knew each other and we, we, our first time was we went to see the film jaws right the original film jaws yeah. 1975 75 yep. yeah, 75 and anyway, that was it. And then the season was about to start. And we, we went around and we, you know, we were with each other and everything. And she and she said, Oh, will you take me to a football game? And I went, Oh, wow, not sure, really. And she went, Oh, I've never been. Uh, 
because I I was then in the, going in the North Bank every every home game with about twenty or twenty five people. I knew who was in the herd. I knew who was in the uh, North Bank elite. And I was like, oh fucking, hell, I don't want to do this. Uh, oh Jesus! And a lot of my friends at the time didn't have girlfriends. I was like, oh, oh god. That's so I was like, all right, all right, all right, all right. I said, but we've got to keep it quiet. And she went, what do you mean? I said, no, 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 no. We've got to keep it quiet. So <laughs> I, got, I, I, I got her in. We, we literally went rounds a route I'd never go. It was rounds clock ends where the away fans and home fans were obviously up Highbury Hill and into the West Stand upper tier and we went up there and she was oh this is nice oh look we can see you know, this, oh, look at it's all the pitch I was yeah yeah and she went you normally go in there don't you I went yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to see why aren't we in there I said, oh, no, 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 it's too busy and um, you wouldn't like it because it's really packed and, um, you know, it's you, know, you like this and, you know, you wouldn't like it. So anyway, we watched the game and got out and we walked all the way back down Highbury Hill, round the clock end, got stopped because of the, the way fans were going and then back up and we went up to the pub and, um, up, up up the road which is now gone sadly and we went in there and uh my mates go well where were you today and i went what do you mean well, where, where were you you didn't turn up i went oh well no we you know we, we went out and she went <laughs> <laughs> she turned around and said it was a great game wasn't it we were up in the upper, up, up right up there at highbury I was like, oh, oh, no. okay. and that was like Jez, you're a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and, I, and, and and that was it. And she said, well, why didn't you take me in the North Bank? And I went, well, because at the end of the day, I didn't want people touching you and grabbing you and all this and all that, all this sort of situation. And the abuse I got <laughs> for about two months. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're like, you're a pussy. You're a coward. You wouldn't bring it. La, 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 la. And all that bullshit, and it was like, oh fuck me. <laughs> and that was probably out of four or five times. That was the first. And over two years, I took her five times. That was the last ever, 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 never again. Well, I, we we have talked about coming over. Like me and me and Nat have talked about coming over. We want. We definitely want to. Um, the the tickets getting tickets over here is an absolute nightmare is the problem we we tried to get tickets with the latest release and we couldn't do it so and there's a bunch of there's a bunch of technical issues that are happening over here with arsenal america too so even if we try we probably you know even if you try the the chances are so low but we're going to try to get over there you know, you know even if even if we don't see a game just to have the 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 experience of of going to a pub and watching it, it would be incredible for us and, you know, and obviously hotel, with everybody right. there's a hotel right near the emirates yep yeah it's a, a hilton or something like that isn't it or a high end or something that's the one the wife my wife was looking at right mm. right it's right next door to finsbury park mm. uh, and um you, you 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 if 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 you um Right, I'll just say this. If you if you need if you want tickets, they may not be in the best part that I, I can get you tickets, e-tickets. Mm -hmm. Official. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean and I'm not talking about for any hooky 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 sites. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I can get you tickets. They may be up in the gods. Don't don't care. Don't uh, care. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay a premium for lower. <laughs> yeah, no, no, absolutely. Me too. I'm bougie like that. I am. I, am, I need to be lower for 75 bucks. I'm going for or 100 bucks for 200, 300. Whatever they are. I'm going. Well, no. Uh, and how many times are we going to be able to see a game at the Emirates? 
Like it's it's a it, it could be a, yeah it could be a once in a lifetime experience for us. So. That's why I want to schedule mine with like a Champions League game. Go go have a home game on a Tuesday or Wednesday, and then watch a Saturday game and come home Sunday. Yeah, one hundred percent. All right, let me get through some of the let me get through some of these uh these questions here. We're gonna fire because I start a bunch of questions. Wolf says, TJ, do you live in uh Central U.S. Kansas City? Yes, absolutely. I am six hours behind UK. Uh, thoughts on Wilshire potential candidate for the Rapids. Anybody is better than what they currently have now. I would gladly take Jack Wilshire as the manager at Rapids. Wow. I would gladly take him. I I'd gladly take him. Yeah, no, I'd gladly yeah. take him. And at least it would give some name recognition and connect us to essentially what is our what is the Rapids parent club. But I I I like I like so my my local team is Sporting Kansas City. So I like mm -hmm. going to Sporting Kansas City games. But my my like where I grew up was Colorado. So like I, I enjoy, I enjoy going to sporting games, but like, I still have a, I still have a, uh, a, a place in my heart for the Rapids, even though I've never really followed them that, that closely to be 100% honest. Um, how many fans do you have on your only fans? Uh, I only have <laughs> one and his, I only have one and his name's Dow. Oh, I only have one. Oh, TJ, don't let the secret out. Big I'm fella. sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hugo asks, how did everybody start following Arsenal? My, I, I, I'll say this real quick. Um, I I started following Arsenal probably back in 2011, I would say, um, just just because I wanted to start branching out and watching other sports. Um, the Kroenke Zone, Arsenal, and my favorite sports team of all time, the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, so I started watching Arsenal. I, there was no, I, I didn't know the history. I didn't know anything behind it. I just started watching Arsenal because I figured, you know, and Ars and you got to keep in mind, Avalanche were really, really bad back in the early 10s. They were terrible. We, we had won two Stanley Cups, which is the NHL's championship. We had won two Stanley Cups and were terrible, 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 terrible um, for about 10, 20 years. And so I figured, you know, I, I want to find a fan base that I can share in the misery with. And at that point, Arsenal were definitely in in a bit of the misery. So, yeah. So, so yeah, I I, I latched onto Arsenal, and you know, I really didn't start becoming absolutely obsessed until about until about like just before COVID. Just before COVID, I started becoming absolutely obsessed. And during COVID, I became obsessed. I started watching all these YouTube legends. Um, and yeah, the the rest is pretty much history. The rest of the, the rest are stories you've heard before, and, or earlier in the stream. So yeah, now I'm on here talking shit with with absolute legends on the internet. Um, funny how yeah. that turn, turns. Funny how, funny how funny how that turns out, right? Funny how it works. Um, funny. Henning Gooner. I'd like to ask TJ Warren and Dal, would you towards watching English first um, and then following or so? We kind of already answered that a little bit. I mean, I I I just. I just wanted it, like I just said. I, I just wanted another sport. I just wanted another sport to watch. To I've, be honest, I've it's not that deep. Game. Yeah, I've played since I was about seven years old. I played um, just as you know, little kids team. I played all through middle school, high school. I was a, a manager, player of a Division One men's five aside indoor team for about three years. Um, I was a shooting coach. I was a coach. I never got into refereeing. Um, uh, what else? Yeah. Um, and I, when I was young, when I was probably about second grade, they used to, you know, in school, we used to like, teacher would ask like what you wanted to be. And I can clearly remember writing that I wanted to be a soccer player in England in like my seven, seven year old handwriting, you know, unreal. And I've never even, you know, I, I don't know why I said that. I, I, my parents got me this book that was for, is called for the love of soccer. And I remember going through there and it was all like, um, 70s players right because i was seven years old so it was probably about 1981 but the book might have been a couple years old and it would just show all the old players like pele and socrates and so forth so as a young kid i remember looking at that but i just loved playing as a kid and then um about <clears throat> sixth grade i got on a team that was really serious and we took first place in the state of new mexico i lived in new mexico for about three years and wow. we were um there was eight teams for the state championship and we were seated eighth um, and we actually played the first team, first place team first and beat them one nil on a Mother's Day game. And I remember that because the team all went to the shopping mall to get our mom's gifts for Mother's Day on the weekend. And I bought my mom a, a, 
a locket necklace, and she actually was cheering so much during the game, she lost it. So after the game, we all shook hands, got something to drink, and we all just like held hands and combed the field to find her necklace, and, and one of the players found it. But those are memories, man. Wow. I never have. I have the jerseys when I was a kid, still locked in, you know, in our um, spare room. Um, so yeah, that's my biggest thing as as growing up was playing in the New Mexico State Championship and winning it, and we were seated eight. Holy shit! Now yeah. that is the story. Do you want to hear another very quick, very quick funny story? Yeah. Yeah, Jez, Jez, real quick before you do that, I got a guy waiting in the back, and then we'll then we'll cool. we'll get to. It. Is that cool? That's fine. All right. Go for it. all right, all right, all right. Here we go. So, so this guy, um, I, I what can I say about him? I, I was a fan before I ever met him, and now I am a contributor on his channel. He is an absolute legend of the game. Um, you know him from Sarcasm City TV. You know him from uh, the Back Again podcast with Troops. Um, he, he's an absolute legend. I consider him a friend. I want to bring him on right now. Man like flawless. What's up? Big man, too. My guy. My hey, guy. Hey, big up, man. Love for the big introduction. Up, Love for the introduction. Big up to the panel all the time. And that TJ is why to drop in because I'm I got a cut shortly. That's why I'm on yeah. my phone because my Wi Fi is playing up. But congrats on the milestone, man. Congrats on the milestone. You graph very hard, you know what I'm saying? And that very good at what you do. That's why I brought you on. You feel me? Like, that's just testament to, like, what I think of you as a content creator. You feel me? So, yeah, man. But large up to you every time, man. Again, congrats on the milestone. Big up the chat Thank as you. well. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Sorry I couldn't get on earlier. I was busy. No worries, brother. Stuff the channel. That's what it was. But I said I was going to drop in. So, even if I drop in for two minutes, I'm literally about to jump on Saeed's channel now. I'm trying to sort out the Wi-Fi. That's why I'm on my phone because this thing's playing up. Yeah, my no Wi-Fi playing up. So I'm trying to sort it out. But now, nah, man, congrats again, man. You know what I'm saying? And roll to 1,000. You're going to get there in no time. You're going to get there no. in no time. No, no, bro. And I, I appreciate it. No, and even just popping in flawless. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it. And he's already freezing up. I feel bad for him. Hopefully he can get that sorted before he goes on. So, Saeed. Um, <laughs> but, but, yeah, man. But, yeah, man, no. Seriously, uh, I, I've not – felt um as welcome as i have uh anywhere else but the sarcasm city people they are absolute jokers over there like yeah, you're swimming great. with sharks over there great content over there they're absolutely incredible i think flawless has left us unfortunately he oh, oh there no, no there he is there he is he's back he's back he's yeah back. yeah that's my wi-fi playing up i just have to switch it off on my phone <laughs> on mobile day that's what it is that's why i was just saying that but nah man like i said salute again i think you caught most of what i said anyway but i did to 1, yeah 000. You're going to get there in no time, trust me. You're going to get there in no time. But I see the channel growing now. You're already at what, like five, five, six? So yeah, it, it, no it's been it's been crazy. It's been a crazy uh, day of growth today. But, man, no, I, I appreciate it, Flawless. I really, really appreciate it, brother. Seriously. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, bro, we'll, we'll, we'll see you this weekend, eh, for, for the, for the, for the rivalry show. I got to, I got to, I got to talk to your guy. I'm, uh, I got to talk to Ahmed. I got to talk oh, to him. We have to have a serious. No, we have to have a serious conversation, yeah. me and me and that Chelsea fraud. We have to have a serious oh, conversation yeah, 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 about yeah. what's going to happen. We're going to set yeah. that up, man, definitely. <laughs> I'll, I'll message you, and we'll definitely sort that out for the preview <laughs> for the um, Chelsea Arsenal game, 100%. Yeah, yeah. We'll definitely sort that out, yeah? Wow. Right, I'm a dip. Big up to the panelists as always. TJ, love big up. every time. Big up the chat, yeah? Bless, bless. Bro. All right, brother. We'll see you later. Yeah, Flawless is an absolutely real one. Absolutely real one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know. I see him. I know. It's sad. It's it, it's a sad thing. It's a sad world out there, Jez. It's a sad world. Really? Um, we're not we're not even gonna acknowledge it. Um, Jez, what was your story? Oh Jez, yeah. What was your story? This is a funny one. This is a funny one. Yeah. Um, as there was twelve of us, right? And we, we, none of us had, none of us had a lot of money, right? Okay. So we we clubbed together and we bought this twelve seater. Full trans mini bus, right? And it was an absolute heap of shit, right? <laughs> the heater didn't work, um, but it was it was cheaper than going by the um back in the day they used to have these football special trains, yeah, and and you, you, know, you go on a train and they were absolute dumps, they were they stunk, they were horrible. So we, we bought this and it got us to games, and it did, but um, you guys, there's, there's, a, there's a main motorway in England called the M1, right? Mm -hmm. North South, right? And there's a particular set of services called the Blue Boar. So you've got services 
on the west side which goes north and you've got the services on the east side coming south right and you've got crossover bridges for people to walk over right? so anyway we've picked and um, we're, we're going it's burnley away it's burnley away so we've pitched up we've, we've pitched up in there to get cough uh, have a breakfast and a cup of tea and everything right on the opposite side now being stupid as we were because we didn't have colors on but <laughs> in in the windows we had arsenal stuff right so these guys on the opposite side are, is a well-known hot spot for trouble right and they're on the opposite side going south and it was a load of port vale going down to play orient yeah so we've we've all got out and we're walking up and we, you know whatever they've come over and there's police around but not not many yeah and so we've come back and our van our transit van is completely destroyed absolutely destroyed all four tires gone windows smashed smashed out completely ruined but the story i want to tell you the funny one three weeks before that we were going up to man united traffic old trafford yeah so we pitched up yeah stopped breakfast got back in i'm i'm in the passenger seat my mate smithy's in the middle paul's driving right guys in the back i've gone to shut the door yeah the door's fallen off <laughs> completely <laughs> falling off <laughs> and I'm, I'm i'm just sat there like looking looking at smithy looking at paul i'm going what do we what do we do about that then and my mate paul's gone yeah don't worry about that he said so he, he gets out picks the door up holds it on he says to the guys cut the guys in the back go and get some bungee straps to strap it back on so they've gone off <laughs> the, 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 bought these bungee straps right pack of them and gone round the roof through the window right which you now can't really wind up wound down nothing strapped and round like this strapped and round strapped and round and the door handle uh sorry the winder the winder wrapped round the front seats to the door on the driver's side with these bungee straps and paul's gone that'll be all right mate yeah don't worry about it that'd be good so i said paul if we got stopped by the police you've got to drive from here all the way to manchester mm. right the police will be on the spot out for any sort of vehicle that's got anything to do with football and he goes yeah fuck them don't worry about it so like okay so we drive all the way up old trafford all the way up trafford <laughs> and bear in mind we've got no heater in this thing don't work windows down we've got his bungee straps holding it up pitched up watch the game watch the game cut out driving down driving down right so we're, so we're driving down round birmingham back onto the m1 right <laughs> coming down the holloway road <laughs> and we're about half a mile half a mile right for ivory and we get stopped by the police oh, oh shit and they come up <laughs> almost <laughs> home and the police come up and they say to us good day out boys <laughs> no we lost and they went oh yeah yeah well a bit of a problem with the old van isn't it my, my mate paul went nah I'll be all right tomorrow mate he said we'll we'll we'll, we'll weld them hinges back on it's all good but dad owns a garage and his fucking <laughs> policeman went there's nothing to weld it onto you boys he said the whole of that body works come away and he went 
That's not an MOT failure. It passed it three weeks ago. <laughs> oh, fuck it. What are you talking about here? And, and, and this, this copper just stood there and went, how far are you going to go, lads? And he went half a mile down there, mate. And he went, fair play. Okay. See you later. And it's like, it's, it's things like that. You never, ever, ever, ever get away with now. No. No, no, no. Back then, back then. I'm, I'm talking 30. No, that's facts. That's facts. That's facts, though. That's this is flat tires back. you're driving down. Sorry? Flat tires the whole way down. Tuka, 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 tuka. Well, we, well, we had all kinds of dramas, mate. I mean, oh, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll tell you what, I could, I could write you a book on the escapades we got up to. Seriously. Um, just just the stories of what happened, how things went and the right. nightmares and um <clears throat> yeah. I, I mean I, I got lost in Newcastle once. Um everybody else was going home. I got lost. So I was so out of my tree. So out of my tree. I end up sleeping in a bus station, thinking it was the train station, waking up by getting woken up by a policeman saying, Why ain't man? And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I, he said, why I? And I was like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, boy? And I was like, um, get the train. And he went, this is a like in Georgia, this is a bus station. And I was like, oh. All right. I got home a day late and... Um, that didn't go down well with the wife, I can tell you. Can't imagine. Oh, <laughs> All right. All right. Hey guys, so 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 we're about we're about to start wrapping up here. We're about to start wrapping up here. We've been going for two hours. Big up all the legends in the chat. This has been an absolutely incredible Sunday night, uh, Sunday afternoon for us uh out here in the States. Uh really, really appreciate it again. Thank you, Jez, for all the stories. Thank you, thank you to everybody who's popped in and, and said hello. Obviously, Connor, um, Kyle, and Flawless, absolutely le absolute legends. Um, we do want to give away the two mugs that we were talking about, the two low ball cups that we're talking about. So um, just to preview it for you. Yeah, I don't want I don't want it to end either, Carl, but we have stuff to do. People have things that they gotta do. That it, it is what it is. Sunday yeah. evening here in the States. Um, so uh, it's going to look a lot like this, okay? But it, instead of this logo here, it's going to have the TJ Warren TV logo. We got done for copyright because it had the cannon on there. So it won't have the cannon on there, but it will have the, the circle with the TJ Warren TV logo in there. So, yeah, they didn't, they didn't let us have the Arsenal cannon wow. on there. That's what, that's what, that's what yeah. screwed us. Yeah. So yeah. I did get those ordered. They're on the way. But um, if you do want to be entered in the drawing – Put it in the chat right now. Say, put my name in the drawing. Put it in the chat right now, and we will go ahead and do it. All right, now I have, and then I'll reach out to you on Instagram if you win to get your address. I will send it over to you at no cost to yourselves. Um, I will be drinking from one. Dow will be drinking from one. Connor will be drinking from one. And, um, yeah, you will, be, you will be in exclusive club. Go ahead, Dow. Cups to drink out of. Jazz, are you still doing mugs? Yeah, yeah are um, you still doing mugs? Yeah, no, she's done them. Okay, she's done them. Perfect. Uh, this is the bullshit situation, right? This is the bullshit mm. situation. I took them to the post office, Lee Gunners, yours, TJ's, right? And they got sent off. <laughs> got, to, got to your New York customs, got to your New York customs, right? And got sent back. What? Yeah. Got sent back. Lee Gunners got sent back. Um, and so I then questioned it as to why. And the reason was they were incorrectly packaged. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I've actually, I'll, I'll prove it. I've actually got them here. I've actually got them here. <laughs> <Look at Matt. laughs> 
Big up, Maddie. Thank you for coming on, man. Matt is tired, bro. I, I had to come dude, on. Dude, did you put did you put them away today? Did you put away some goals today? I put away one, but we got our ass kicked. <laughs> oh, brutal. Yeah, but hey man, for a 42 year old man to still be able to play 90 minutes of indoor football. I mean, I hate my I love indoor. I, I miss playing indoor. I love five or five indoor. It's so my, my I'm, I'm tired of thinking about it. My knees are killing me. Got a whole pile of them here. Oh, oh, shit, shit. Yeah. Holy shit, Jess. <laughs> A whole part of them. Uh, you can't see them because it's the green screen. All these, they're all full of the, the mugs that she printed out. Oh, nice. But they apparently were incorrectly packaged for the United States. That's, typ that's typical, typical foolishness. Typical. For the the tape all over them or something. I don't know. I, oh, I, yeah, I, I can't find a loss. I don't know. I'm still waiting to find out from, uh, I, she contacted the United States custom. No, uh, sorry, United States Postal Service. Yeah, to find out how we packaged them. They were bubble wrapped in cardboard boxes. I mean, what's what more can yeah, you do? I, yeah, I'm I, don't know. I wouldn't know. I can I can look up that information too, Jazz. Let me see what I can find. I'll send to you. Yeah, let me know, man. Because it's really right. I'll good. look it up this week. Cost cost yep. me a few quid. That didn't. I didn't yeah. Again, if you're just tuning in, I have here. Here's who I have in the drawing. We got Carl Rossi, Jaminho, Lee Meadows from Gooner Gathering, Drew Gunner, Anthony Herbert, Mama Flossie, DJ Crane. So if you did not just hear your name, put put your put your name in the chat and say I want in the drawing. Um, but Matt, while you're here, man, I I know that you you told you told us you were going to be later. Um, I just want to say thank you for all you've done for the channel. Thank you all you for all Absolutely. you've done for me. Congratulations. And being, being such an awesome guy. No, like I, it, everybody says congratulations, but it, it literally is a, a group effort. So so you've always been a brother to me. I, I really do appreciate our, our, our text chats. Uh, the, the, the one time we had a conversation while I was stuck in traffic on I-35 in Kansas City. <laughs> we're talking about how bad Enkedia is and how this season's going to be a downfall. Um but no, no, I just appreciate your friendship and your support, brother. Always. Oh, hey, man. Hey, man. Much love, man. Much love to all three of y'all, man. Jazz, it's good to see you, brother. Oh, man, man, man. Good to see you, bro. Yeah. Good to see you, brother. So, yeah, man. It's, it, hey, 500, man. That's a milestone. That's a, a massive milestone, you know. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah, the the next the next time the next time we have one of these, it's gonna be a twenty four hour. If I hit one k, like I said, I'll do a twenty four hour for charity, and uh, that will be a long day. But we will that would do be it. Interesting. That would be interesting. Do a yeah. twelve hour. <laughs> <laughs> do a twelve hour. Hey, I, I'll do it. I'll, I'll I'll be on the internet as long. As, like I'll set a goal, and as soon as we hit that goal, I'll be like, all right, see you guys gotcha. later. <laughs> <laughs> TJ Ward, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, TJ Ward, Thanks I'm out, and then I'll go sleep. Memories, guys. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Yeah, absolutely. TJ, I thought I thought about you yesterday, man, when I because uh, I was kind of watching college American college football yesterday, and I was trying to oh, go back. A bunch of stuff was going on yesterday, and then I, I saw I looked down, I saw I learned on my phone United States takes lead one nothing. So I, I said, well, let me let me turn over and see what's going on over here. So I turned over there, and then. It did. As soon as I turn over there, we, we we go right back into what we normally do. Piss po defense. And I said, well, you know, that's it. This, the, the, that, that, that goal that tied up was scandalous. That was Matt, that was Matt Turner through and through there. That was a Matt Turner goal. Yep. Hmm. We we are we are so woefully behind Europe. And and here's the thing is that I saw an interesting stat. That we've only beat like Malta and Northern Ireland or something dumb under Bo under Burhalter. Anybody you, else in Europe we can't beat. You know, you know what the problem is? You know what the problem is with American with, with you here in the United States? It, Tell us. Pay for play. Yep. One hundred percent. I just I just had a discussion with somebody. We were talking about how in America the parents think because they pay two or three thousand dollars that their kid is great. And the kid is not great. <laughs> <laughs> And then you run up against some dude that comes from the favela, or comes from you know a, a barrio somewhere, or, or comes from somewhere in the hood of, of England, and they and they run you off the pitch, and you wonder why. Or these other other places because they 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 other countries it is built from the ground up. In the United States, it, it is built from high school up, and that and that's not going to work. 
They've been trying to for, since I was playing, and it's just not going to work. And this is why we cannot compete at the highest level. You'll get maybe two or three guys that, that are, you know, are special. But, you know, it, it's just not it's it's just not going to be the way it's going to be, man. Because, I mean, for the players here, man, right? I mean, real quick, I know we're going to go soon, TJ, but Matt's got a good cool. point. Oh. There's no real accountability for the players, right? If they're just a I'll be name right back, guys. And they're yeah. a good name in the MLS. They get picked. I, it just makes no yeah. sense to me at all. Yeah. I just, I don't really watch much of the U.S. team at all. I, I saw they were playing against Germany. I'm like, well, there's a there's a four nil loss, you know. And just, like, Goonie, so, you, you, you. there's no real program. It's so wishy washy. They put their they they always every time a a U.S. player looks like they may have something, they just oversaturate that player with marketing, advertising, and he's going to be this, he's going to be that, and. I always say, well, the kid doesn't play in Europe. Yeah. You know, like, MLS isn't going to cut it. I mean, but you, but you know what? It's going to cut it. You know what, Goon? And it is funny because I, I talked to some some of my mates today. We were just sitting there on the bench talking, and, and I just, it's just a, a case of, I, I don't know, Jade, you know, you've been around a while. I don't know if it's me or is it just the modern football? It's these, these, they are, it is not the same. It is the stand, the, the, the style of play. The level of play. I mean, I watched it today. We had some youngsters playing with us, and I just it was shaking my head. I just said, you know, that, that they don't read the game. They don't see the game the same way that, that you know that I saw it as a, as a child. You know, right, right. yeah, it's for you, especially for me. When I played as a child, and jazz like I'm sure it's a lot different now. Like, it's just it's so much faster. It's, it's finesse. So faster. It's, it's more finesse. It's more finesse than it is grit. Mm-hmm. And and when you watch these teams, like I, you, I use I use uh, Croatia as an example. You watch Croatia; they may not win a World Cup or anything, but like the the work the the work ethic that they put in when they play, and and they just drag it through. You know, you look at a team, you know, like England. England's got all these great players; it can't get over the hump. It's mm-hmm. a mentality issue. It's a mentality issue, and in the United States, is a massive one because, like you said, they're they're hyped up. In high school, they're hyped up in the first two years of college. They come out of college and then up with ML, MLS, and then it's the next big thing. But by that time, you, you're talking about a dude that's went this, you know, he should be in Europe when he's in high school playing. Yeah, I always thought like the coach should be specifically looking for Americans that are playing in Europe. You know, why is the MLS like your first stopping point? I'd be looking for players that are playing, you know, in the Bundesliga, Serie A, wherever, even if they're in second division in some cases. Because some of the the Serie B is much more, I think, somewhat com- competitive than MLS. You know, and you, I, you, 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 and another thing too, man. You know, I was talking with my buddies. He, he's Brazilian, and he was he was scathing hot over that one one draw with Venezuela the other night. And he was saying, he said, "Well, man, we we just need to go back to to the uh, the, the Brazilian teams to get players that they actually want to play because the players, the our players that go off and do anything, they they don't they don't do anything." Right. You only got about two or three guys that's actually decent in, in the squad, you know. But they have no, they, you know, they have not had a number nine, a out and out number nine in decades. Right. We have had no strong striker at all. No one that can consistently put the ball in the back of the net. Yep. Not as good as England. Hey, but they haven't beaten us in in uh, international competition in how long? Who England? Who England? Yeah, England. Oh gosh, that's a good. That's a good question. That's a that's a that's a I, uh, a, 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 it, a gift certificate that's, question. Now. Yeah, that's, that's a gift. That's a gift certificate question. Uh, when was the last time England beat the United States in international competition? Because I don't think it's happened since I want to say like the fifties. I don't think it's happened. Since no, the 50s. They, they've had to beat us one, one or two, one or two. I times. mean, maybe in like in a, maybe like a, maybe yeah. like a friendly in the in the World Cup. No, they have not beaten. We no. drawn the last two times we played each other. The World Cup of 2010, Steven Gerrard got that first goal in the first couple of minutes against the U.S., and then we tied it up. Yep. Did England play today? Jez, did England play today? Did, did they play today? Good question. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I Jess, Jess was too. Jess was too busy, busy. He was telling us he was painting his ceiling uh, during uh, the last. <laughs> don't, don't worry, <laughs> Jess was a pain, and I was uh, I was working on a shower yesterday, so painted it the first Much half. More the second half. Yep. All right, I want to big up Carl Rossi. Big up Carl Rossi. A few pints for the panel and for the amazing content. Cheers to you, Carl Rossi. Thank you so much, my man. Uh, Carl Rossi is. Uh, 
an absolute legend. What else can you say? He he, is, he sports every single, all three, all, all four of our channels, I should say, um, on YouTube. So, again, uh, big up Carl Rossi. Thank you so much for the donation, my man. Um, all right, one last call for the drawing. We are going to spin the wheel twice, and then the people who win need to reach out to me on Instagram. It's TJ Warren or TJ Warren TV, and I will send you – the mug i will figure out how to get it overseas i will do whatever but it is going to be absolutely incredible a big oh uh, here we go oh thanks, big up tony. dj crane no it's thank you tony so much second day rusty great show and lovely lovely chat yeah absolutely no and, and this show doesn't happen obviously without the legends we had we had dal here jez here telling us telling us the real stories um matt matt the southern gooner we had flawless we had connor um, we had Kyle Walsh Gunner pop in. We had Will Stewart pop in. This has been an absolutely legendary show. I cannot believe, like, I didn't know 20, I didn't know two hours and 15 minutes could go that fast, to be honest. So, so yeah, no, it's been absolutely crazy. It's been absolutely crazy. So thank you everybody again for your support. So, um, if you want to get in the drawing, I'm going to get, I'm going to do the drawing here in about five minutes. And then we are honestly going to get out of here. Cause I know Dal has stuff to do. Um, and I, and I have some stuff to do too. Uh, yep today. yep exactly so exactly yep and again carl rossi reaching out if anybody needs support or just a chat carl rossi's there the best looking irish frenchman you know carl rossi will chat with you yep so again yeah let's see if there's anything that we missed here um uh, Three SS sport picks, but then are you concerned about Chelsea's recent uptake in form? It's taken a few games. Poch has them playing. Yeah, he has them playing, but uh, uh, we should we should beat them. We should it's beat them Chelsea. away easily. I'll, I'll say it again. It's still Chelsea. I know. I'm not getting. I'm not getting too gassed about this. I've said this. I've said this on every stream that I've been on. Um, you can't. You can't look past them. But you know. Arteta's beat Arteta has a very very good record away at Chelsea. So every time you just know that that is eventually going to end at some point. Like every yeah. every everything has to end. And, right? I just hope it isn't next week. That's all. What do you think? What do you, think what do you think? What do you think, Jez? No, I don't think so, mate. Um <clears throat> no disrespect to Chelsea. Um, I just think um, they're just not on it enough, and I think Arsenal will go there. I'm, I'm going for a two-one win. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Two-one. Two-one win. All right. Yeah, I, I'm thinking two-one too. Jess, when's your preview for that show? When's your preview? I mean, when's your preview show for that uh, match? What am I doing? One? You know yet? Uh, oh, are you going to do one? I was going to ask you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I always do previews. Um, to be honest with the ball fest of the international shit shows, um, <laughs> I haven't actually uh, looked at it yet. He, he ain't uh, lying. Uh, no, he's not lying. It may well be Wednesday. Oh, when do when England play next? Got to be Tuesday or Wednesday because they got to be back by Friday. For, for, so I would have to say Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, probably. Uh, if it's if it's yeah, that's fine. If it's uh, if that's good, it'll be Wednesday night with Kenny and whoever else wants to come on. Um, you know, and that's the thing. Um, I always like to get different people on, advertise it, put it out there uh, when people are available, get the opinions. And uh, but Kenny's always the uh, Kenny and, I, and I've been doing it for a long, long time. So if it's not Wednesday night, it will be, uh, yeah, it will be Wednesday night. So uh, there it is. Okay. All right. So get over to the Arsenal History and More if you haven't already. Um, and subscribe to Jez the Legend and subscribe to the Southern Gooner if you haven't already. Um, according to my stream, or according to my subscriber count, we've gotten uh, 19 new subscribers in the last two hours. Um, which uh, I think is incredible, but I think 10 of them were Pete Haywood. So um, prove that you are not Pete Haywood and go subscribe to the Southern Gooner. Go subscribe to the Arsenal History and More. Go subscribe to Oregon Guna, um, my absolute legendary co-host. 
And uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead. Are you guys good with doing the draw now? What do you think? Sure. We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm going to, I'm so I found this little app uh, five minutes before the show started. So we're going to, we're going to use that. That's called wheel of names. Ooh. So what you do, Ooh, wheel of names. Sounds dangerous. It's crazy. It's dangerous. It looks dangerous to me. So we got Carl Rossi, Lee Meadows from Gooner Gathering, Drew Gunner, Anthony Herbert, Mama Flossie, DJ Crane, and Gooner Forever in for the draw. So what we are going to do is click, and we'll see who lands it. So the first two people that it lands on, get them up, reach out to me on Instagram, and we will go. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa. Cool. Cool. And the first one goes to... Oh, oh it's Drew Gutter. Drew Gutter gets one. Hey. Drew Gutter. Hey. Drew I'm putting it in the chat Gutter. for posterity. Drew. Drew. Drew Gunner gets the first one. And again... Um, just a preview. It's 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 a mug just like this one, only it has the channel logo right here. Of course, it doesn't have the cannon on there because they copyrighted me. But but yes, right there, we will have the TJ Warren TV logo on it. Uh, okay, so now we're removing Drew. So now we have six people, one and six available. Are we ready? For the second Fran draw. Is in the chat. Pick up Fran. What do you? Fran's in the chat. Do we want to put Fran in the drawing? Yeah, sure. Fran. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeti wants in. Yeti wants. Yeti's Yeti wants in. All these people here, they're just like you're screwing my odds. <laughs> Long, -haired <laughs> Long haired Yeti is in. Put Yeti in the – yeah. Put, no, yeah, yeah. Yeti Yeti for a Yeti. You got to put Fran in there, what do you, Yeah, yeah, no. We'll put, we'll put Fran, Fran in there. there. All right, so one out of eight. Everybody has a one in eight chance. We'll do – we're we're putting Fran in there. Okay, here we go. Yeti can win a Yeti. Here we go. You're adding qualified. more people, so I think Drew's win should be disqualified. We are not going to dis we are not disqualifying anybody. Okay. And if and, and honestly, if this is a thing that people like, if you guys like them, I haven't gotten the first one yet. So you guys are getting the same mock up I am. If people like them, we will make them more readily available. We will make them more Overly, readily available. Don't maybe worry about one that. day we'll maybe our thousandth episode or our thousandth subscriber show will have a shirt giveaway. Ooh, shirt giveaway. I heard I heard Dal was ready to give away a PS5. That's what I heard. I was. <laughs> I was like, TJ, me and Connor three way our money PS5 for somebody. Woohoo! No, I think Yeti cup a little more of my speed. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. On your thousand subscribers, it should be gold plated. Ah. Uh, hey, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in on that. No, a thousand subscribers. We're going to charity, and then yeah, I I would never think that we would get to a thousand subscribers when we first started this channel. So. <laughs> hey, as long as long as the proceeds go to charity, that's cool. Give away your Spurs there shirt, you TJ. Go. Hey, well that well that's Yeti out of the drawing. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll see you, Yeti. Oh. oh well, see you, Yeti. Good 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 talking to you. No, I'm just kidding. Just All right. In. Yeah, he nah, he, he can't. Even, he's not even here to put in the sin bin. That's the worst I know, part. Poor Yeti, he bumped his head. He's all right. He bumped his head. He's he's all right though. Though no, he's he's coming up with those zingers quick enough yeah, to wear. Like I'm not worried about zinger. it. The zingers were class today, Yeti. Yes, thank you. They were. They were. All right. Are we ready? All right. So we got Rossi, Fran, Yeti, Gooner, Forever, DJ Crane, aka Tony, Mama Flossie, Anthony Herbert, Lee Meadows. Are we ready? Spin it, Pat Sajak. DJ Queen. Oh! That was oh, 
Oh, it went no. from DJ Train to Carl Ross. <laughs> what happened with your wheel? No, it, there? It, it hit Carl. It hit Carl Rossi. It hit Carl Rossi. I thought it hit yeah, DJ it, Crane and then went. Well, boom. the the internet gave out. Uh, no, it went Rossi. boom because because my streaming is terrible. So one single that. spin of the wheel and it goes to Carl Rossi. Everybody, Carl Rossi, oh, congratulations! Man. So we got. So we got Carl Rossi. We got Drew Gunner as the winners. Congratulations, guys. Reach out to me on the gram, and I will get those to you expeditiously. Carl All right. to give it to Drew. <laughs> Carl, you can That's do what fun. you want, dude. You can do what you want. Yeah. No, I mean, but Carl's always – I think – is, right? is he drinking – I was gonna say, is he drinking? Is he drinking? He's always drinking out of wine glasses and stuff, though. I don't know if oh, he's yeah. gonna be drinking out of whiskey glasses. You might, <laughs> but it is. But it is what it is. Congratulations, everybody! I've been robbed. I've been robbed. <laughs> I don't think you've been robbed. I think you'll be all right. All right, guys. Uh, we we're gonna we're gonna out. start wrapping it up. We're gonna start wrapping up. I think we're gonna start wrapping up. So, Drew, um, get in touch with me. Send me your address. Um, obviously Carl Rossi, send me your address. And if you don't want it, then send me the address of the person you want me to send it to. I don't care. <laughs> um, yep. So, so yeah, anyway, no, I appreciate this chat. I appreciate the community. Um, we got to start signing off now. There's a couple of people that I have not thanked yet. Um, first of all, I need to thank Lee Gunner. Um, Lee Gunner literally put the channel on the map. He came on once and the channel absolutely blew up. Um, I think it it exposed the channel to a lot of of true thinkers in this community, and 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 honestly, it it um yeah, I can't I can't thank Lee enough for what he's done for the channel. Um, literally, I'll I'll just ping him on WhatsApp, and he'll be like, yeah, no, no problem, I'm, I'll come on. Like that's the kind of guy that Lee is, is that he will come on and help um, any smaller channel. So big up Lee Gunner every single time. Um, and I want to thank uh, the Perchy TV as well. The Perchy TV, I do a lot of Arsenal versus Spurs content with Perchy. Um, we've, kind of, we've kind of fallen off in the last couple of weeks just because we've both had stuff going on, but I, I do want to big up Perchy um, for all of their support that he's been given uh, to the channel as well. Um, I really, really do enjoy uh, talking to him as well. It's been, it's been an incredible journey. Um, so, yeah. And I, I think I'm I think I'm running out of, of of brain space and people to think, to be honest. So so yeah, let's let's start let's start bringing this stuff. Let's start shutting it down. Let's go to to Jezzer. Jezzer, shout out your channel, man. Shout out everything and thank you again for all the stories. Well, first of all, guys, thanks for having me on. Um, uh, I just want to say um, you kept saying it's all down to me, but it's not down to me at all. It's all down to you guys. You, you, you've. Um, uh, I, I may have pushed you to say you to do it, but it's you. You've built your own channel. I haven't built it. You've done it, and uh, respect to you guys. And uh, thanks for having me on once again. And uh, my channel is Arsenal History and More. And um, yeah, uh, come over and have a watch, have a look, and uh, see what you think. I get all great people on. Uh, these guys in front of you, awesome uh, guests to have, always have on. And, um, yeah, it's, that's what it's all about. It's a community that we've built and um, something I really love. And there's no bullshit with us. It's it's pure talk. And uh, well done, guys. Well done. For, for nearly 600. Well mm -hmm. done. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you, Jez. Thank you, Jez. Maddie, the Southern Gooner, my American brother. Well, our American brother, let's be honest. The man, the man with the plan from the South. No BS. No time for BS. The only real. Yeah, no. If you only have time for real talk, go over to the Southern Gooner and you make sure that you subscribe. Maddie, thank you so much, man. Uh, shout out your channel. Uh, brother, I appreciate it, man. It is uh, an honor to be here. It is. Uh, phenomenal that you guys have uh, built the channel up the way that you have. And as Jess said, you all built this from the ground up. Some people can't get five viewers, and you've got over 500, man. I, I say it again, that's nothing to sneeze at, man. You you should be uh, you should be uh, celebrated 
uh, on many levels. And it's also good, you know, that we have more rational Arsenal fans in the midst of the uh, YouTube <laughs> rational mm-hmm. fans, that is. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I appreciate the opportunity. I appreciate any time you offer me to come on. You know, I try my best to try to get over here when you reach out to me, man. And, uh, you know, keep up the good work. Uh, for those who want to follow me, you can follow me here on YouTube, Southern Laguna. And also I do uh, watch along with Lee Gunner and the good brother Ola. Uh, we'll be doing one next week on, on uh, I think what Saturday. We play Chelsea Saturday or is it Sunday? I think it's Saturday. It's, it, it's Saturday. It's Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, we, yeah, next Saturday. So I'll be doing the uh, watch along with, with Lee and Ola. And uh, enjoying it uh, as as, uh, as we move as we churn churn along. Hopefully, we get another win and keep the train rolling. Yep, yep, one hundred percent. All right, Dow, my co-host Dow. with the most. Wow, what a show! What a show today! Thank you for everyone yeah. that showed up and participated. Uh, thank you, Jez, Matt, Flawless, <clears throat> Will Stewart, um, and Kyle, the Arsenal Irish Volcano. Walsh. Um, it was great to see Kyle today. I haven't spoken with him in a while. I'm glad you're doing well, Kyle, and everything's going well for you. I hope you enjoy your dinner tonight with your wife. It was great yeah. to see you. Um, anything, DJ, great show today. Shout Man. out to every single person in the chat, even our Spurs fans. You know, it, there's a medication for that. Uh, it's called alcohol. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, no, it was just a fun, a fun video today. 500 subs now plus. We're working hard, TJ. We're we're doing what we got to do. Um, and I you know, love the support from each and every one of you in the chat and the panel. It's been a it's been a great 30 33 weeks or so. Um, and yeah, upwards and onwards, as the great Drew Gunner says, upwards and onwards, TJ. Yeah, well, absolutely. You. Absolutely. All right. And I'm working on a redirect right now. I'm trying to see who's live Um, Um, because I'm trying to get better at this and and I'm trying to figure out who we can who we can get our get our fans to go over and yell out and said, uh, you know, TJ Warren TV sent us Um, that fraud staffy and Hussam are over on this is football with Judge Mo. So I think we're going to send him over there. Um, So go over there. And make fun of make fun of all those guys. Make fun of Staffy for uh, no Qatar for Man United. I don't think that got talked about enough today. Um, Man United get off way too easy on this channel, so I think we need to. I, I think we need. I think we need to start mudding them. I'm not going to lie to you. So we're going to send him. We're going to send you guys over uh, to Hussam's channel. Make fun of them, please. Make fun of them, please. But big up Hussam. He was in here earlier, so we will redirect over there. Um, again, I'm going to name. A couple of a, a couple channel names, and then we're going to send you guys out again. Arsenal history and more. Jez, the reason I am here. Um, the Perchy TV, Tottenham away. The reason why I'm born, Jez. Yeah, know, the reason why. Born. No, the reason why I'm in front of the camera is Jez. I'm, I'm not going to lie. What it is? I've said it over and over again. Um, Tottenham away. Um, Stell and yes. uh, Will. Thank you very much. And of course, my co-host Mari over there. Um, Lee Gunner, Oregon Goon, Connor. Maddie, the Southern Gooner, and obviously Flawless and all, all and all the guys over at uh, Sarcasm City TV. You guys are absolutely incredible. Um, and with that, guys, we will see you um, on the next one, which I believe will be the Friday, Friday, Friday. yeah, yeah, for, yeah. American we'll we'll be here for American. Show. Yeah, we'll be here for American Idiots, and we'll the Let's Be Real show on Thursday. So um, stay tuned. Again, thank you for all the support, and we are out. <laughs>